we were a minute late because we were talking and we lost track we of time talking. a little bit. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday, TGIF. Hello, hello, hello. It is the beginning of uh, the weekend. Hopefully, well, some of you are getting a lot of snow because I think there's winter storms and rain, but it's still Friday and a lot of you don't have to work tomorrow. So, I mean, you can sleep in tomorrow, if anything, if there's anything that could be the, the benefit. But thank you guys for being here today. I am, we, Alex and I are going to do these sales once a month, we think, mm -hmm. at least right now, that's what we're, that's what our plan is. Um, so welcome. We're glad that you're here. Make sure that you are, wait, over here. Make sure that you are subscribed to Alex's <laughs> channel as well. Alex, tell everybody when your sales are. Okay. Well, we typically have sales Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Um, this week, I didn't have a sale on Thursday because sometimes the stuff just isn't out there for me to find. Yeah. And I had to like save it all collectively because I knew I was going to come on here and be with you. So normally it's Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on our YouTube channel. And we do pop up stuff from here and there. We do sometimes jewelry sales or yeah. just stuff. Um, but Thursdays at 7 and Alex is also a seller on Vamp, and she's yeah. been. Uh, I didn't even have a Vamp sale yesterday because I had a lot. I of didn't do it either. Something had to give, and that was that was a thing that had to give because I was going a little crazy. But Alex typically will have a sale right after me on Thursdays as well, so um, that's 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 worked out pretty pretty good, and it's pretty fun. I know I have sales normally on Tuesdays at one with Michael and I've started doing a Tuesday quickie sale over on vamp. So at five o'clock on Tuesdays, I'm over, I'll, it's a 30 minutes, 15 second lots. I see how many, I think I got through like 28 items last Tuesday in 30 wow. minutes. So it's like boom, boom, boom. And there is a whole slew of vamp sellers that are, it's going to like a raid party. So we're going to, it's like a big, a bunch of sellers are having a sale Tuesday night and it's all half an hour quick, quickie sales. So um, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's just, it's quick, it's quick. And we like that. So um, that is coming up. And then I will be having my Thursday sale next week, my buyer's choice sale on Thursday on VAMP. So make sure that you are on virtualantiquemarketplace.com so you can attend those sales and yes, Sh Shannon says she finally learned. It isn't hard, Ooh. is it, Shannon? She did it and she was like, this is fun. So go over to virtualantiquemarketplace.com. Awesome. I think I've got a little, let me see here. Boom. Hang on. There we go. So virtualantiquemarketplace.com. You, if you want to pause it or take a screenshot, um, you can just scan that QR code. And if you use the code MISTY, at checkout, you get $5 credit. So you could use that if you want to. You don't have to. But that is virtualantiquemarketplace.com. And then, oh, that's our sale today. That's us. And then Thursdays. Okay, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Boop. And I just wanted to remind y'all that June 29th, I'm opening up my shop here. And all of these beautiful and wonderful sellers will be there selling their items and goodies. Um, in June. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's an upcoming thing going on as well. So welcome to the sale. We will need some information from you. We will need your full name and your shipping address, your PayPal email. Please note that payment must be made for both myself and Alex within 24, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, within 48 hours 40. of receiving your <laughs> invoice. Um, that is very important. We want you to get your vintage, but we need your information and we need you to pay your invoice. So those are really kind of important so we can keep doing what we're doing. Um, we will be utilizing a just in case and a just in case means that the winner will pay $1 over the highest bid. Um, we do ask that the buyer should be actively bidding and we ask that you save the just in case for the countdown. And if you're new to the sales and you're like, I don't know what that means, just you'll be able to watch a couple of rounds and you'll be able to figure it out. Alex is getting really good at figuring out the number. She's doing real, real mm -hmm. good. I do want to go all the way I, up at the top here. I'm learning the Mickey math. She learned, well, <laughs> good grief. I don't know if I can say that too loud. Uh, Jody, hello, Jody and Shannon. Hey, Bug. Bug, I've got some things with faces on it. So I'm sorry, but 
I like things with faces. Um, oh, Karen, so do I. Is that is that a problem? Well, Bug doesn't really like things with faces, but but oh. but she will. She will, she turns her head. She knows what to do. Okay. Um, Karen Gillette. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Karen is our bid ender today. Um, and I don't know, Kim might be here too to help out too, Desert Gal Curios. But thank you in advance, Karen. They just take care of me. They, I, I don't know what I do without these ladies. They're just, they're just so wonderful. Hi, Angela. Hi, A Aileen. Aileen. I did it right, Aileen. Yes, I know. I got it. I'm going to probably ship it. I'll send you an invoice tomorrow when I'm doing all the other shipping for your cocoa tin. I did get that. Hello, LaDonna. <laughs> Are you getting some weather, LaDonna? You're not. You're south. You're not up in Minnesota. That's Angela or Missouri. Angela, you Missouri or Minnesota? You're one of the M's, I think. Or Illinois. Hell, I don't know. Angela, you're one. Of, you're up there somewhere. And I saw Angela. There she is. Misty hey. geography. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't want to do that either. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, Je yeah. Jeffrey's having a sale. Jeffrey and I had this conversation uh, last night. We were talking. I'm like, oh, I guess we're having a sale the same day. Listen, here is the thing. We've had this conversation many, many times. Um, it is okay to have a sale the same time somebody else is having a sale. You have to do what works best for your for your business. And it is what it is. We can't always keep track of who's here and there and everywhere. There's actually sales going on on VAMP right now. Um, live sales that are, oh, I think they started. I don't know if they're starting now or if they started it too. But it, it is what it is. I mean, there that's just the way that it has to be sometimes. We can't always coordinate. There are so many of us that are having live sales. Yeah. That it, it, it is what it is. And so, um, but thank you, Jeffrey. Little baby Jeff, Jeff. So, and Barb. <laughs> Um, and then la, 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 what did I see? There is simply shenanigans. And then I saw somebody else. Hey, there's Grady. Grady has a great YouTube channel if you like music. <laughs> and then, hey, vintage, hey, Becky, how are you doing? Becky and all her beautiful glass that she sails. Okay. Oh, wait, Angela said, I checked the pop-up. Hey, are you coming, Angela? You should. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a parade, Angela. There's a parade that day. Okay. Hi, Miss Tree. Oh, I like, oh, hey, Quirky. Oh, my gosh. Hello. It's been a long time. I hope you're doing good. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. So Alex and I each have 20 items of various different things. Um, Alex mm -hmm. and I have very different aesthetics. Sort of like Michael and I. Alex and Please. Michael have a very similar. Very aesthetic. similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm just out in left field. You know, I just like kind of <laughs> odd things. But um, it's, it's a variety. There's a lot of variety yeah. here today. So um, we hope that you enjoy everything. So, all right. Je Hang on a minute. I got to say, Janine, you are the sweetest la lady ever. Janine had a little gift card waiting for me at a local bakery here, Sweet Treats. And Aww. I talked to the lady that owned it and she was like, I kept her on hold for so long and I felt so bad. So she Aww. felt so bad. So she said she's a, she was a trooper. But yes, I did. And uh, Sweet Treats Thursdays are a thing for me now. But my gosh, I got cupcakes and a cherry turnover. And I, I showed Alex yesterday. I had chocolate. I had a edible cookie dough for love. Oh, yeah. It's going to make me gain all my weight back, Janine. But that was very, very sweet. Very, very <laughs> kind. Thank you so very much. That was very, very sweet. Okay. I'm going to make Alex big. Maybe if I... There we I go. don't know. what Are we going to do two and two? No, I don't like no, that. No, we did. Or is it one and one? One and one. Okay. That because seems good for me. it gives you a chance I'm a bad to lay down. That's the way I feel. Yeah. Okay, well... The first thing I have now, I don't have anyone helping me, so hopefully your ladies can help yes. me out with. The We're, Karen is going to be the bit. She will do the bid ending, so you will just you let me know. I'll put it in what you're starting okay. it at, and then Karen will say bid in when you count down, and and we'll be good. Okay, well I'm gonna I'll start this at twelve dollars. Okay, got it. This is a vintage. Um, the information I found on this piece is it is Ohio, like nineteen you know, late 1950s, early 1960s. But apparently these were in cereal boxes. 
You remember when you used to get cool stuff in like your cereal box yes. or like a Happy Meal? And you'd stick this your whole those... hand down in the cereal box to dig to pull it out. Yeah, you would get your stuff out of there. Man, I would I would go for some cereal I didn't even like because I wanted that toy or that that color change in remember spoon the, or the whatever that was. That you'd throw against the wall, the little octopus. Oh, the it. guy that walked down the wall that, yeah, yeah. that one was cool. So that's what I have is this little guy right here. That is it's so metal. And it's from. And I thought it was kind of funny because I have like, we have this joke on the channel that like everybody's from Ohio. Like you'll yeah. talk to them in the chat and like everyone, where are you from? Ohio. Hi, where do you live? Ohio. So I oh, thought that was kind of. Ohio. Cool. That's what they do. <laughs> All right, I guys. Can. So if no one wants that, we'll pass on that one. All right. That's it. That was my that was my one. That was her one. All right. My first thing is right here. And it is a little orange bunny. I'm also going to start it at $12 as well. It is a little pottery bunny. And this will be oh. great. Like if you like bunnies for Halloween, you know, oh. it, it could be a Halloween bunny. Um, I love orange. Orange is actually my favorite color. So I, I just thought that he was just so, so cute. He is pottery. No markings on him at all. And he's just like a little, he's just a little bitty guy. He's four inches tall. He doesn't have any chips or cracks. And he's just a sweet little something to add to your shelf. You know, you've got your, your Easter displays or your, all of your colored eggs. And he can just be added to your, a little pop of color to your shelf. He is very figural and a little flat. You can see at him coming up straight on. He is hollow and he is just a sweet little ceramic bun bun. He, he doesn't have a scary face bug, so you could like stare him down, right? It's not too scary. And he's so cute. No. Gobel made one like that. Uh, yeah, I don't think this one's Gobel because of it being hollow, but it's definitely a similar mold. But I think it's cute. And then, meow, meow, Amy. I didn't see you were here. Meow, meow. <laughs> buddy, Amy. All right, Karen, I see you're in at 12. And honestly, this would be cute too. If you, like, my children are adults, but I still provide them an Easter basket. So this would be cute in, a, like, an Easter basket gift. Or if you have a, oh, sorry, Karen, let me highlight your bid. If you have a, um, like, a milk glass basket, you could stick him in there with some Easter grass. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah. All right, so Karen is in at 12. We're going to start the countdown at 20 because of the lag. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Do you remember the book Bonuncula? I love mm -hmm. that book. It was a bunny that was a vampire. Hi, oh. Roxanne, Roxanne. I've had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> Just saying. All right. I think Karen, I have it. little orange bunny is coming to you for $12. Thank you so very much. Doing the tax stuff brought my oh, level Lord. like. <laughs> I can't even. i got to work on that. I'm just. Oh, God. oh, my gosh. Okay. So the next item I have is this gorgeous. Um red and purple stone brooch some of them are purple some of them are red uh this will start at 12 bucks as well here's the back and let me show you something <gasps> so what? Some of the stones glow that is a crazy parlor trick that you can pull on people the red no the green it? yeah so neat. i think great. those are the purple stones so that center's purple and yeah. then the ones that were glowing on the edge were purple. Oh, I don't know beautiful. who this is by, but it's very, um, oh, what's the, it's Judy. I forget the, the brooch brand, but it's very that. I don't know. Any, I don't, jewelry is not Judy. my, my thing. Someone will probably type it in. Jewelry. Judy, it's beautiful. Judy B, Judy B. Jones. Do any, oh, Bianca loved those books. I, I remember when it was Funny Hat Day at in her elementary school, and she had to, uh, we we had to create a hat of a character from one of the books that she liked, 
And so it was from a Junie B. Jones one. And she had like eyeballs all over it. It was really, it was interesting. Junie B. Jones is like the modern day Ramona Quimby age eight. Cause that was my jam. Yeah. Ramona that Quimby. Beverly that Quimby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want me to count back from 20? Yes. yes. That's it, LaDonna. Okay, um, okay, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, so 6, pretty. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. And... Oh, so it's stormy. Stormy had it. She had a bid in, so she's able to use the just in case. She has a just in case of 20. So, so Alex, wait, she see. got it for 17. Yes. Because I see Rhonda for 16. So, no, yep. Stormy got it for 17. For 17. Right. And Heidi, <laughs> your bid was right after the bid end. It was right after. Well, I thank you, ladies. I would say that, thank you, Karen. There's Alex's email too. Make sure that you send Alex an email. Thank you, Karen. May, yes. um, I will say too, um, as far as the just in cases go, if it's something that you're wanting to put in a just in case, it's always a good idea because of the lag to do it right when the countdown starts, right when the countdown starts. Remember Jan Brady said her boyfriend's name was George Glass. I do remember that. Oh my gosh. That just brought back a memory. Do you remember Hi, when- Pamela. Um, Sorry. Oh, Pamela Ham. Hey, Pamela. I thought, do you remember when um, Joe Montana went on the Brady Bunch and how handsome he was then? <laughs> Hi, Val. Hi, Mackenzie. Mackenzie is Val's sister. Mackenzie, are you having a good day? Mackenzie, do you ever watch the Brady Bunch? You should. <laughs> it's a really good show. Okay. Here we go. Um, I have these fun little dogs. I bought them in two different areas but i just i love these because they you can they can hold your glasses oh yeah davy jones oh. and i remember that one too karen they're gonna start at 12 dollars choice they are the little hound dog eyeglass holders so they are a studio piece and what they do is you take off your glasses oh was it joe namath i i don't know his name i just know his looks <laughs> Forgot his name. But see, they hold your glasses. Now, I would need 50 of these to hold my all my glasses. But you could, like, keep these on your nightstand, you know, when you take your glasses off at night. Instead of just throwing them on your nightstand like I do. Yeah. And then my cat you, knocks it over. Hey, if you bought both of those, you could have one in your bathroom for when you wash your face. And then one on your nightstand for when you go to bed. Just True. saying. <laughs> True. You could. And, you know, these are... um studio pieces here that one has a the, the white hey, one has, hello the white one has a uh little pads on the bottom and jk's initials were on there as well this one has a lot of freckles like that little splatter and then this one is brown actually this one isn't a studio piece let me just change my what i just said i didn't even notice this what does that say here let's see if we can look at it together denmark no, Glenmark Enterprises. Enterprises. So this one is actually not well, a It says she needs glasses to find her glasses. Right. I know. <laughs> well, you know, I sometimes I fall asleep and I wake up and my glasses aren't on aren't on my nightstand and they're somewhere in the bed. You know, I fell I used to have, my mom would fall asleep and I'd have to gently try and slip her glasses off her face because I knew how upset she would be if she fell asleep with those on. Yeah, that you know it happens. But you know, you need a little hound dog. Hi Susan, how are you doing today? Rhonda, I see your bid at 13 and Val is in at 14. Zona is in at 15. Hey Zona, Zona, you're in Indiana. Are you gonna come to the do I get to meet you in June, Zona? Are you gonna come? I hope so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and count these down. They are a choice between the brown and the white. Um, okay, then Rhonda came back in at 16, so it is in at 17. Okay, hi, Brad. Let's go ahead and count them down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, bid in. I got to put my glasses back on so I can see. 
Val has a just in case of 21. Mackenzie, do you wear glasses? Zona has a bit of 20. Rhonda has a bit of 22. Wow. Cheryl. Oh, my little <laughs> Cheryl girl. I'll be true to you. Was that good, Cheryl? I sang you a song. I didn't even just say hi. I sang you a song, Cheryl. There is the bid in. Oh, the dog glasses bid in. That's cute, Karen. All right, Rhonda girl, you, you Zoni, your 23 was right after the bid in. And um, so Rhonda, you, you get first pick. So Rhonda, do you want the brown one? The brown one is from Glenmark Studios. Oh, she wants the sleepy. I didn't even notice that. Wait, so Rhonda, wait, which one's sleepy? The this one is the it white. Kind of looks sleepy. They do. That's what I'm saying. This one's the white, and this one's the brown. So Rhonda wants the brown. Okay, gotcha, Rhonda. So that one, what I say for twenty two brown. I didn't even write brown down. Goes to Rhonda, and then Zona at. <laughs> Madonna said, oh, my gosh, oh, Misty, how wow. much caffeine did you have? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> Actually, I had an iced coffee and an Alani. That's it. That's it. I, I, the only uh, one that I had tried that I thought the flavor tasted okay was those Celsius drinks. Oh, I don't like those. But let me tell you. I like I started feeling really crappy and it would I would feel like uh like I had just went running, you know, like but I didn't and my heart was I'm like I got, I can't drink these anymore, so I don't drink them. I drink them. I I like them. I I do, but I only like the cherry they slush taste good. Oh, but they make me feel like <laughs> They do. They taste good. They're zero sugar. So, it's an it's well, hang on a second. I'll I'll explain what it is, Susan. So, okay, so Zona, Zona, you can you can decline if you wanted the brown one, but I have you at the um the white one. You're on the white one. If you no, Val, don't be sorry. You wanted the brown one. That, that, that's the way that it goes. So, um, Zona, let me know if you want the white one, and you can say no because you wanted the brown one. But if you do say no, then it would go up to steel at seventeen. Misty, remember how you were on that nitro Pepsi? Yes, I do. I do. I didn't like that nitro Pepsi. The only thing I liked about the nitro Pepsi is when you opened it and went, Psst. Okay, Zona said yes. All right, Zona, that one is coming to you for 20. Thank you so very much. I, um, okay, wait. Sorry, Alex. A lot. Okay? They are, it's an energy drink. There's zero sugar. Um, they have... It's basically like drinking, I think a cup, I think Mark figured it out, like a cup and a half of coffee, basically. It's not too much. It's not too much. Okay. Some of them are like four cups of coffee. It's like a Red Bull, but it's sugar-free. Yeah. So yeah. like those monsters, some of them are like, those are like four cups, some of those. But the one and that the Celsius one. Huge. Monsters Yeah. Are the Celsius one that I was drinking, was it's small and skinny like that. And... I just kept, and I wouldn't even like finish them. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't know why. I think I was just buying it because, oh, it tastes good. And I could be like, you know, like Aaron and stuff. And, and I'm like, no, it's, it makes me feel terrible. So the only caffeine I, I get is if I have a coffee in the morning um, yeah. or if we are so inclined to stop at Starbucks or something. Um, that's like the only caffeine I get because I drink Sprite or water. Sprite zero or water. Yeah, I drink water. Like, I got my water right here. I have my water right here, too. I have a, though, I have a pineapple, like, zero sugar packet in here mm. so that I can yeah. flavor the water. Yeah, I have to flavor. I don't like plain water. It makes yes, me so or I or I'll never, I'll never drink it. It's so, Unless it you're, like, bad. really hot, you know, you're at the flea market or you're outside doing yard work or something. It's so or boring. I'm, or if I'm exercising, which that, that doesn't It's so happen. boring. So I did, I get the, um, the little flavor packets and then people make comments like, is it really water? And I'm like, was well, your coffee really coffee? You know, cause you put in all that crap in it. So now <gasps> listen, I've, so I've said before and I'll say it again, the best amount of money that I have spent and it's actually saved me a lot of money is on my Nespresso because mm. I make iced coffee at home. I go to Starbucks mm -hmm. one time a week and but I don't really need to, honestly, because that Nespresso makes really good iced coffee. Okay. 
Sorry. Yeah, I would make my own iced coffee at home too. Um, we have a ninja coffee yeah, maker. You could do and that. You, it has the ice, you know, over ice thing and stuff like that. And um, um, and I was doing it for a while, and then all of a sudden, I'm just like, mm, I stopped. I think it's because, like, you know, I'm like the ice and the, I don't know. It became like annoying to make. You get a little time. sick of it after a while. Like that's why yeah. I drink the Alani sometimes. I'm like, eh. But you, yeah. I like, I buy the caramel syrup. And then I, I, I spring, I like swirl. You got like all the fancy stuff. Yeah. Oh, it makes it feel like, you know, okay. I might've spent like $8 on this syrup, but I can get about 50 drinks for this right. $8 yeah. versus the one. And so, I have, I, I have amaretto flavoring. I have sugar-free mm. amaretto. So I like that. You can just, I don't know. It's just good. It's just good. Yeah. We have someone sent, cause Aaron really likes, um, uh, the pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. He loves fall time when it comes out. So we have the pumpkin spice syrup and then we had vanilla, but Bianca was uh, putting a little bit into her Coke and I had the zero sugar, you know, the, yeah. like the yeah. syrup or whatever. And then I have coconut because I put a little bit of coconut in my pineapple Ooh, drink. Yeah. And, um, so that's, we have that too, but I need to get some more vanilla. Yeah. I like vanilla. Oh, steel. I was drinking four to five Mountain Dews a day. And when I stopped, that's how I, I mean, I've lost 40 pounds just by stopping drinking soda. So yeah, I get it. And I, plus I was adding more vanilla syrup to my Mountain Dew. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I'd be like, what are you adding vanilla? Oh, Mountain Dew, it's so good. I'm like, vanilla and Mountain Dew? Okay, Angela, you but send that to me, girl. I will review you it. liked it. Okay. <clears throat> my next item is a gray squirrel. It's a gray wall climbing squirrel. I've and never seen a gray one. Me either. And listen, I was so excited to find this fella and he didn't sell like two of my sales ago. Nobody wanted the gray squirrel. The brown one sold with one eye, but nobody wanted the gray one. So I'm like, mm -hmm. fine, I'll just save him because I think he's cool and he's got both eyes. So he's going to start at $12 if anybody wants to adopt him and take I him home. I know, LaDonna. I was, she told me that too. And I was like, what? Look, Wendy, good. you get that squirrel, Wendy. I Let me tell you how tall he is, so real quick. So. <gasps> bug! It's about bug, bug likes, a Bug likes things that look like they're natural. She doesn't really like the anthropomorphic things. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Look at all the people that want that squirrel. Well, good, because I couldn't believe it. I literally, I had two, literally, the regular brown one and this guy. The brown one had one eyeball, and it went, and nobody. It was crickets for this guy, Aww, this poor thing. He wants a home. All right, I'm going to count backwards. I'm going to count from 20, right? Yeah. 20, okay. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, Aww. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so. Or end. You know you can hang those on your wall, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what the wall he climb. climb up, he can climb right. up your wall. Yeah. yeah. That's not creepy at all. I would love to no, go to no. a house where they had critters climbing up their wall. Cats. Okay. Girls. I see. Is it? Dawn. I hear an echo on your side. It's Dawn. Okay, Dawn. Thank you, Dawn, for number 12. Does anybody else hear an echo? I don't hear it, but if you do, then unfortunately I'll have to mute myself when Alex is on live. But <sighs> this was happening last time, but it was echoing on my side, not, oh, okay. the, not the host's side, and that was the problem. And, and it did it with Angela in her sale. That's weird. Okay, well, I'm glad that nobody else is hearing it because nobody wants to hear my loud mouth echoing. Sorry, Alex. You're oh, just I said that too. I'm like, y'all don't need two of me. <laughs> You're just gonna have to suffer. Okay, I absolutely. Oh, here yeah, I, switch switch your thing over. I know. I I absolutely love this piece. I'm gonna start it at fifteen dollars. I don't know. Like, I bought it like this. I think that the frame is older than the print that's in here. Let me do a measurement of it because I did not do that. We're at seven by seven by seven. Oh my gosh, I love, okay, here's the back of the frame. 
So it's just a small little thing. Look at this. So the way that it's mounted in there. So the mount is wood. Now somebody has painted this gold. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that originally this frame was brown, brown wood. But hi, Lucinda. But the, the, the matting in here is wood and it's been spray painted gold as well. But look at that graphic. Look at her. She's look saucy. At, she's got, look at that cat's like meow, meow. She's got her apple in bed. And her the little cat's all saucy on. too. And it hangs, it has a tanger and it hangs like that. So sorry about the glare. Let me see if I can do this without the glare. Or there's lots of glare going on here. But isn't that cool? Oh, that's right. She does look like Snow White in the, like a modern Snow White. Oh. Or maybe she's the evil witch. She's like, I'm going to poison you. Either her. way. Isn't it great? Yes, this is a this is a print. I don't I haven't taken it out of the of the thing, but if you didn't like that artwork, all you do is, you know, peel the little metal things back and then you could put your a different artwork in here. But I don't know if it was a card or a postcard, but I just I just think that it is fabulous. Now, I, I am working on a gallery wall of Gibson girls, so she doesn't really fit in the mm. vibe that I'm wanting for my, my guest room. But I absolutely loved this frame. And we've got the, um, the metal uh, accents on each corner. This one, yeah, this is the only one. No, I guess it's, it is still there. I thought maybe it was missing one of the little pieces, but that little, that little thing is there. But I don't know. I just thought this was just different and unusual. And my gosh, we can get it off of the glare. There she is there. Hi, Dawn. I see you are in. Yeah, she's wanting someone to take a big bite of her apple. <laughs> Any takers? Or I'm not even going to say, but she's got her cat there. Not the other word, but her cat there. All right. Not the other word. 15. Let's go ahead and count this down. This is glass on here, too. Uh, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. I, like, I like the gold and stuff with this. I like that contrast between the soft white and the gold. And then that little pop of color from the apple. I think it's great. All right, Dawn, this is coming to you for $15. Thank you so very much. Oh, I was just typing it in. I was saying like, yes, it would hustle and budget. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Angela, for putting that in there. Okay, so special for um, this sale, for Misty's sale, um, Aaron made a couple of his silverware jewelry bracelets. Ooh. Okay. So um, all I really do is sometimes I'll add beads for him, but we've had quite a few requests saying, I don't want any with beads. So he told me this time out of his mouth, don't add any beads. It, just hook it together for me. He made your earrings too, didn't he? Yes, he did. My earrings. These have oh. um, monogrammed G's on them. I kept them because, you know, my son's name is Gabriel. So this, I'm just, I wanted to point that out because Alex and Aaron do have sales on their channel with their vintage jewelry pieces. And let us know, would you guys be interested if they did a vamp sell, selling all of yes. the vintage jewelry? We got to have yeah, people that's, there buying that's kind it. Of like a new, that's a new, newer thing on vamp was um, yep. Misty and uh, Michael approved the, um, like the, the DIY craft type things, but they have to be made out of like vintage materials. So Look, that was like a new, a newer like yeah. feature on there. So, okay. So we have this bracelet here. Um, his bracelets normally start at $25. So that's what it'll start at. Got it. And I have it hooked together here and it has a made with love charm. Now these are a silver plate. Now, if you have a metal allergy, just don't wear it all the time. I wouldn't say take showers with them, you know, because it is older silverware. He does stamp 
He monograms the inside. He puts his initials in there. Oh, I love that. He does. So, I, have, um, I have a couple of his pieces too, and they are, they're so. Yeah, well he was done. just saying earlier, he's like, I got to make Misty's pendant. He has like a couple of people he's got to make stuff for. He was asking me, did you ever answer back? Does she want it like, do you oh, want yeah, it I to want go it. this way or do you want, want it to go long, up and down? Long, long. long. Okay. Long okay. Way. So this size, um, I can add a couple of more jump rings, but it's basically adjustable. You can open the lobster claw and you can just move it around, um, you know, how you want. So it's, it's an adjustable these. piece. You can bring the lobster claw in and make it tighter, or you can make it a little longer. I think these are great. And so, so it's got the little charm on the back, right? Yeah, it's that one says it says made with love. Oh, those are so cute. So I don't think oh, I saw anybody for yeah, this. Yeah, Dawn is in oh, at twenty five. Angela says Thank that she you. has a metal allergy, and and hers have never bothered her, so they're fine for metal. Yeah, so Bianca has a metal metal allergy as well, and I think Erin made her a little ring, and it bothered her. So it's like some yeah. people. So all right, so twenty, nineteen, eighteen. 17, 16, 15, 14, so 13, pretty. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Put it on four, your worst, Alex. Three, well, can two, you? Two, one. Yeah, oh, maybe. We got not. another bid. I don't know what these nails. Okay, and uh, sold or stopped, however you say that. Hustle bid and in. budget mom is in at 26. So I'm I am I'm not a dainty person, but here it is on me. And I'm not gonna try and close oh, it because pretty. of my my yeah. fingernails, but it is a, a nice little piece. And like I, I said, it. I can if you think like, oh, it might be a little too small, can you add a couple of more links? I sure will. It'll take like two seconds. Yeah, it's very and great. So okay, so who got it? Hustle and budget mum at 26. Okay. Oh, so close. To, I thought it was a giveaway winner, but it's not. Oh, yeah. We got so giveaways, close. guys. We got mm -hmm. giveaways. We got today. hidden giveaways. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. I have a tablecloth. Um, this one is a square shape, so it would be perfect for a card table for Easter dinner. Um, so it's, and it's a, it was 51, 51 by 50 is the size of it. And I love the collar. So we've got these lilies. Aren't these, are these lilies or are they daffodils? I don't know flowers. I don't know their names. But it is either. a square tablecloth. We've got the pinks and gray and green. Let me put, I'm going to start it at $16, but I'm going to stand up so I can open it up so I can show you. There's no holes, no stains. There's nothing. It's in excellent condition. They're saying daffodils. by 50. So all the flowers go all the way around and in that center there. And then we've got this great like bubblegum pink daffodils. Thank you, Jean. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking they're Easter lilies, but they're daffodils. I, why do I always, whenever I try to sell a table, I always hold it upside down. Always. <laughs> never fails. So it is just really, really pretty. I've actually been using it. Um, during my vamp sales as like the, like the, the tablecloth thing. So I'm going to be kind of hurting, like what else am I going to use? But I just think that for spring, for an Easter and everything, I'm doing the shipping tomorrow. So you'll get it before Easter. So you'll be able to use it. Or you can take those old tablecloths and you can like cut them down the center and get pretty curtains. If you guys yeah, are you crafty could. like that. You I'm not. Beautiful curtains. <laughs> I'm not crafty like that, but you could. There isn't, um, I don't, at least I don't think, because you know, sometimes there's a tag somewhere on these, but there's not. But there isn't, there isn't a stain, not a tea stain, not Uncle George's coffee stains, nothing, <laughs> no stains on this at all. Jamie, I see you're in at 16. Isn't it great? I love this collar for spring. And I think, though, too, if you've got a like, covered porch and you have like a little patio table, because of the size, it's 50, 50 by 51. Um, it would be great for a little porch, little, your little covered porch table. So I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. Jamie's in at 16. 
20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I love that center that because sometimes they're just plain white in the center, but I love that those little floral accents go up into the center yeah. as well. So Miriam, I see you're at Liz. Hi, Liz. Um, okay. And then Jamie has a bid of 21 and there is the bid in from Karen. Thank you so very much. Hey, Patty girl. No, no sale tonight. Right, Alex? Oh, it was last night. I did have last. one. Our week, I wasn't feeling really good for a few days. I had the worst migraine on the planet. So it really hindered what I could do. Like I, like last night's video, if you guys watched our shop with me, um, that, I swear I'm like, that is my best acting ever. Because I didn't sound like that I didn't feel well. And I felt bad. terrible. Yeah. We were so, she wasn't like, it was bad. So it wasn't really a good week for me to find stuff. And then when we wanted to go to the flea market on Monday, um, we usually do pretty good. Uh, that was like the one day it rained. So it was like all the stars weren't aligning. <laughs> so I had to just yeah. save my stuff for this sale. So, um, okay. Thank you, Jamie. I'm do 20, 21. All right. Um, I'm going to do, this is actually a craft that I made. I would do these in my craft class. Um, we made some of these last year and I was going through some of my comments actually on our channel and uh, quite a few people were like, can you list your stuff? Can you sell your stuff? And I have before, but I just figured, you know what? I'll try it. So I'm going to lot these together. These are actually, if you see this side, they're playing cards. And if you look at the other side, they're just little altered pieces that you can, what I like to do is I get, you know, those um, place card holders for tables it has a little slot where you can put the place yeah. card. That's how I kind of set them up on the shelf. But anyways, if you're interested um, in these little altered pieces, I was going to start all three. You would get all of them um, start at $12. Yeah. Al Alex, why don't you talk about your crafty thing? Well, it's on, I have two YouTube channels, right? And yeah. the second one that we started is because um, I really like to do like home decor and stuff like that. I don't always want to talk about what I can make money on what for, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I like to do home decor. I like to do stuff with the family. I like to like do reviews and like shop at Dollar Tree and show you guys that stuff. So I do that over there. Uh, but on our chapter two channel, where I did a lot of craft stuff to begin with, that is where you can find our um, craft class. Like if it's a, it's like a membership. And once a week I go live with the class and uh, we make something or we talk about um, just crafts and or organization. Most of the time I'm just making something. So and like this one was around Halloween. And it's a great little hangout time, too, if you're just wanting yes. to kind of hang out with, you know, people that like to do crafty things. And like you just the similar stuff out. as you. Yeah. yeah. And Alex has a lot of she's a really good um, mind. I say she's a really good mind. She has a really good um, range of things that will kind of go with everyone's interests. And I think that these, oh, and her second channel is House on Noble. That's her second channel yeah. as well. But these I think would be great if you had like a little garland and then you could just add these yeah. to it like above yeah, a scene or too, above a mirror. Kind of like what Miss Pamela does. She, you could put little magnets on the back if you wanted, but um, you know, you can just kind of like collect them, so to speak, which is what they usually call these. They call them ATC cards or artist trading cards because each artist would decorate them and then you would swap them like people did baseball cards back in the day. And the, so, it's a private, so it doesn't, if you're, if, if it's a, it's a membership, so it's private. So yes. it doesn't publicly go up on her YouTube channel. So it's a way that you can hang out with people and do your crafting in a, in a closed setting. Yes. Every once in a while, I do go live to the whole channel so that other people can kind of see what it's about mm -hmm. and what we're doing. But most of the time, it's just this. And right, Jean so and Angela funny. are both members and they were like, it's so good. We love it. Oh, so good. think about joining 20, if you're able. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 
14. Oh, that's a good idea, Rhonda. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hustle. Susan, these are going to be cute. Well, I'm glad somebody liked them because, you know, they're just, I just kind of make them and they're just sitting there in my office and people see them on the channel and they're like, oh. can you sell that? I'm like, oh. I guess so. Sorry, what? Susan. Purdy came in. She did a pew pew. Ooh. Purdy okay, came so in. That okay. So Susan had them at 15. And then Purdy oh, I was trying in. to find it. I was trying to scroll back up. So she gets them. So where does she go now? Hold on. She was that person. Okay. So Purdy Pansies gets them at 16. Yes. Yes. All right. Does. Thank you, Purdy Pansies. I like that name. Yeah. And that's a good idea. Rhonda said they would be, wait, where'd you go, Rhonda? They would be cute luggage tags. So I wonder nice. if you could get like a luggage tag that's clear. Like the holder. Yeah. And then you and could see it in there. there. That's cool. That would be good. That would be good. Okay. My see, next item. You're crafty. No, I'm not. I, I can tell other people, but mine would look <laughs> like a four-year-old did it. So and your I, execution is not where it's at. I would use all the glue and all of the glitter and it would just be like a mess. <laughs> but um, I have two pieces of hobnail, Fenton milk glass hobnail. Um, and this is going to be choice. You can see I did a little, a couple different little floral options. I'm going to start them at $16.00. I didn't put in choice, but it's choice. They're exactly the same. Neither one of them are marked Fenton. So they are prior to 1971, the little Rose Bowls. But you can see, hi, Holly. You can see the, 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 this flower arrangement came from Walmart, 99 cents at Walmart. Um, but you just add a little bit of, of flowers to them. And you just like, if you have a stack of books, you know, I'm always going to use my stack of books thing. Mm -hmm. And then just Me stick too. that on there. And it's a nice little, little thing. I think though, too, again, thinking about Easter and your Easter dinners, these would be great centerpieces. So you just put oh, these down yeah. on your little extra tables as a centerpiece. And then I've got my Amazon tulips, which I did post a link on Instagram. All you have to do is comment on that and it, you'll get an automatic link sent to your direct message if you're interested in the tulips which are great because look, I've got them all bent and they're smushy and you can bend them. That's a, and, the, and the white is like a great transition piece because you could take that white straight into Halloween. You know, right. you could bring it into fall. You could bring it into Christmas. Yep. Yep. They're great. I mean, and these, this is just a classic piece of, of milk glass. I've also seen people tie like little ribbons around the, the oh. ruffle here. And so you can, you can, a lot of different uses in these as well, but they are just really, really sweet. Um, they'd be great if you've got, put them on each side of your bed on your nightstands, you know, or, you know, on a, a shelf. Yeah. So they're just really, they're just like, it's a classic little piece of Fenton milk glass. Neither one of them have marks and neither one of them have any chips or cracks on them at all. So hustle is in at 16 and let's go ahead and count them down and you'll get choice. One, or both. Let's count them down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I think so too, Rhonda. Milk glass is so versatile because like you said, okay, springtime, and then you add in some like purples and some green. I mean, you could do Halloween yeah. would be great in mm -hmm. here. So they're very, very versatile. Thank you, Karen, for the bid end. All right, Hustle, do you want one or do you want them both? It's okay to just take one. Don't feel like you have to take them both. But if you want them both, I'm, I mean, I'm happy to sell them both to you. But you don't have to take both of them. So just let me know which one or ones you would like. Yes, you would get them both. They'd be $16 each each plus shipping, obviously. So you let me know, you can take one or both. It's up to you. And thank you so very much. She's not far from you. So the shipping shouldn't be bad. Oh, yay. Are you going to come to the pop-up? Oh, I don't know if it's like that close. I'm oh. just thinking on a map. <laughs> okay. Without saying where she lives. 
Okay. All right. You'll take them both. All right. I got you. Thank you so very much. Okay. This is ooh, close to one of my favorite pieces in the sale today. Okay. This is a, um, what's the company again? Oh, I think it was like Goodwin or something, but it's an antique plate from 1911. Oh, and it I has love these this. Bunnies. It has 1911 right there. And it was a gift from the grocery store from John Robinson, the grocer. Okay. I love it. And it's a, see, it's like a, it's not a giant platter or anything. So think um, like salad plate. Okay. So this, it does. And before I tell you, it does have a couple little, I mean, oh, I, it's a hundred years old, yeah. you know? All right. So this is going to start at $14. I love this piece. This, I love there's, it. It does have crazing. There's the mark there, but it's like one of my oh. favorite pieces. And right in the center, it says 1911. That's a year before the Titanic sunk. It's amazing, right? It's like, it who is. touched this? Who? The things this thing has, has heard. I mean, that's the Gilded Age. That's the Gilded Age period. Um, and, you know, this was probably, and maybe not, but I'm like, it might have been like a, a high-end grocer. Okay. Hi, Kim. Yes. Kim's, you and I got a date on Tuesday. Did you hear me, Kim? <laughs> Susan was typing that in. It is a timeless piece. It is. And it would be a great backdrop for your Easter vignette. I agree. Put it on a little plate stand. Put your little bunnies and your little Easter basket. Hang it on the wall. I know Easter is close, but I also know spring is going to last for a while. Yeah. And bunnies aren't just Easter, you know? No. All right. I'll count backwards no. where I'm going to count from 20. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and sold. I don't have to wave my hand. That's what I have to do on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes habits are hard to, you know, to get out of. Yeah. Yeah. I love that piece. I think that it's great. I love Easter stuff up until 4th of July. Yeah. See, and some places really get the seasons, right? Like Florida goes from like, we're pretty cold to like butt sweat hot. <laughs> So we don't well, get all the I don't cool weather. know that I'd consider Florida cold. Maybe well, chilly. Well, no, because we, we um, and it's a different kind of cold because we have so right. much moisture in the air. So when true. the wind blows, it's like this. Mm. That's true. But we, we were like in the 20s, you know, so it was pretty Oh, wow. Chilly. Yeah. So, okay, let's see. We Debbie. have Debbie's Death Pile. I like that name, Debbie. <laughs> we got you for $20. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is a really, that's a special piece. And and, prop, and someone pro held on to that for a long time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Over 100 years old. So, I mean, that was something that someone really kind of cherished, I think. All right. On the total opposite end of the, of the spectrum, I, I, this is the kind of stuff that I like. Bug, it's anthropomorphic. So, Bug, you might want to look away. But look at this. Look at this puppy. It's so big. It's uh, oh. 10 inches tall. It reminds me of Michael's dog, Little Gracie. Um, this is a bank. It's a bank. So you put your money in the back of her head. Isn't she cute? She is cute. I if you had a dog that you could put bows in their hair, you'd be all over it. Right, right. So she's a nice, she's a nice size and she still has her stopper. So you could still, you could still use her. Now I will say that her stopper has been like, you know, these are the ones that you took a knife and you like how to pry it. So it's been pried open a couple of times you can see, but it is still there. She's got a little a yellow collar around her neck and her little pops of, oh, I left my Oh, wait, I got one right here. Some people have, like, I have a fluffy cat, but some people have, you know, those, the fluffy long-haired dogs, and their dogs just will not have it. They won't wear a sweater. They won't wear a bow. They won't wear a nothing. Oh, Whew, you guys almost saw me fall. 
But her, she got the day glow paint, which I know isn't that big of a deal, but it is there. Not that you're going to put her in your cabinet with your uranium glass, <laughs> but she does glow a little bit, but I love her. I'm going to start her at $14. And I just thought that she was sweet. You know, I see these in like, well, you see them as pigs. I've seen them as monkeys because it's that hard plastic, you know, that 1970s yeah. hard plastic. I've seen them, them as elephants and pigs and monkeys, um, but I've not seen this mold. Now, oh, I didn't even notice. This is 1973, made in the USA by Russ Berry. Russ Berry. So she's made in the USA. All right, Quail, I see you're in at 14, and Dawn is in at 15. Little scissors that fishermen use. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you know what? You don't need it because it just pops right out. I didn't know. Oh, well, smells like money. You know how money smells when it's all together. That's what that it smells, smells like. like the skating rink. Anytime I, I smell dollar bills, it reminds me of the skating rink when I was a kid, which is very close to the smell of sweaty feet. Yeah. That's like a smell that you just don't forget. Do you know what I mean? No. It just stays in your brain a little bit. Mm -hmm. But she's like very, cool floaty. Very Yes. You know, like the smell of the pool rafts. Trapper that keeper. was a big thing. A trapper keeper. Like when you, yeah. get, you get a trapper keeper, it had that smell. Or like yeah, the book that. fair. The book fair yes. smell. Yes. <laughs> All my favorite smells. All my favorite. I would like smell, like I would sniff my trapper keeper for a long time. <laughs> I love the way that that smells. You were All lucky right. that you bought a trapper keeper, let me tell you. But I get I got one, but I had to use it until it fell fell apart. I mean, I didn't get a yeah. new one every year. I like there's Yeah, you were like you were the cool kid in class if you got a trapper keeper. Yeah. Well, I I I had a cat one and a, the rainbow one. Those are the only remember two the, that the I Lisa remember. Frank one. No, I didn't have a Lisa Frank one. I didn't have a Lisa Frank I found one. the other day a Lisa Frank um 90s lunchbox. We listed it on eBay. But it's that it's that cat, the colorful cat. Oh yeah. Oh. So you can have yourself a lunchbox too. I like the smell <laughs> of gas and car exhaust. I like the smell of matches. I do too. And I like the smell of markers. <laughs> like weird. Smell. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Oh, Buckeye, I smell every book. I you give me a book and I'm gonna smell it. I am gonna smell it. Okay. Let's go ahead and count this down. Quail is in at 26. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. I got to tell you something about that in a minute, Janine. 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, I do too, Rhonda. 10, 11, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Let, let me know what your favorite smells are. 3, yeah. 2, 1, bit, and <gasps> Buckeye, yes. In Indiana, and, and probably most anywhere that does go through the seasons, when you first smell grass being cut the first time in the spring, like to me, as you know, used to working for the school system, I'm like, summer's almost here, you know, summer. Oh, so that's what it reminds you of, yeah. But it, that's a that's a great smell. But Janine, oh wait, I'm, I'm lo I've lost track. Okay, so we've got yeah, one thing at a time. Dawn is in it. Okay, so Dawn. You win our little pupper for $35. But guess what, Dawn? You win the first giveaway. Let me write your name down, Dawn. Um, Janine, I was going to say is that the last time when I went to go visit Michael and Richard, Richard pulled out his childhood sticker book. And it had all the scratch and sniff. Do you remember wow. the pizza one? It smelled just well, like pizza. The cut grass one, it smelled just like cut grass. And it's, they still smelled. I'm like, I love you even more now, Richard, that you have your thousand <laughs> sticker book. That is Like amazing. those, the markers that you could sniff. Yes. Oh, yes. Like fruity and stuff. I love, love. All right. So, uh, Dawn, you win my first giveaway. Oh, so, congratulations. You a black light keychain. That's just standard. Now, these, I do have to say, you have to sh you have to push that or not push it. You have to slide it to get it. That's to funny away. that you're doing that. Me and Aaron was talking about trying to find some of those to give them away. Yeah, you can get them in bulk on Amazon. Yeah, that's what, that's what we were talking about. And then you will get a holographic um, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter sticker and also my new sticker. 
you Janine or not Janine. Well, Janine, you I should send you. I'm gonna send you one, Janine. Um, the silly goose crew. Because I <laughs> we love our my porch goose. And then I found these, and they're just a little odd. I found them yesterday. They are Easter cards, but they're all these like anthropomorphic stories, and you get seven story cards and three stickers. They probably don't not scratch and sniff stickers, but you'll also get I just love these and I can't, I just think that these are sweet. So here it is. And let me read what it says. It says, hello, I am a worry worm here to help relieve your worry. So you can just pull this Aww. out. It's your little worry worm. Now it does say not intended for ch children under three because it's got little googly eyes, but I just thought it was sweet. And it's, um, I bought it from an, the antique mall. So I bought it from a local vendor. So those are all coming to you. Thank you so very much. Okay. My next item isn't quite as fantastical as her dog, <laughs> but um, they're very, uh, very much up my alley. They are these really cute little brass and glass uh, tea light holders. Um, so the pair, I don't know where they're from. I just know that you never find them with the inserts anymore. If you, if you find the brass part, they're empty. So you're like, now I have to try and find something that'll fit. But anyways, the pair will start at $12 if anyone's interested. Now I did knock it over earlier and I got wax all over it. So I got to clean them out again. Oh, I bet you but, said some bad words when that happened. Yeah. Especially I when I had, I mean, these were not in the best shape they had wax all out on the metal all on the outside so i like really cleaned them up and um then i like knocked it over and i was like oh my gosh so those are really pretty they're very like hollywood regency yeah they're kind of like romantic they are i like those and, and did you say that they were brass yeah so you get them me... both you get them both so that's the one that I knocked over. So there's the glass insert, but you'll be able to see the it's brass. Oh, those are really pretty. So when you find it empty, you're like, now I have to try and fill it. Yeah. And well, and the thing of it is, you could keep those in your bathroom, put your hairpins in there or your yeah, you don't have to do candles. So you can put them in your kitchen and do toothpicks mm -hmm. or something. Or your your coochie board. You can put your toothpicks for your charcuterie board. I call it a coochie board, I know, but your your charcuterie board, so you can put that on the edge of it to put toothpicks in, so people can use that to pick their cheese. Yes, you yeah. could. All right, so uh, 20, 19. I, know. I, I say it wrong, but that's the way that 17, I always call it that. 16, that. 15, 14, 13, 12, <laughs> 11, 10. Nine, eight. I am my father's seven, daughter. Six, five, four, three, two, one, <laughs> and sold. I've called it a coochie board for a long time. In fact, my, my best friend Cindy and I, we 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 make we'll make a coochie board for game night sometime. That's just what we call it. That's just That's what so it is. So funny. <laughs> okay, I think I see. Thank you, Janine. Hippie love. Yes. For fourteen dollars, right? Is that what you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hippie Love. That's what I, see too. I like your name, Hippie Love. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you again, Karen. Okay, I got something fancy. Now I don't normally. I'm like pulling out my fancy Alex and Michael right now. Okay, because I. <laughs> That's what I tried to do for you, but I didn't have any kitschy stuff. Well, I this is. Fenton, and it is not marked, I don't think. Sometimes the stamps are so... No, this does not have a Fenton stamp on it. So it is an older piece of Fenton, and it's the Cranberry Opalescent Basket. Now, I'm not going to pick it up by the handle because I get yelled at every time I do. pick In a video, if I pick any glass basket up by the handle, you better bet that I'm going to have people tell me that I don't know what I'm doing because I picked it up by the handle. So I'm not going to do that. Because you know you're not supposed to pick them up by the handle. The handles are applied, as you can see. So you're not supposed to pick them up by that. Oh, I'm not going to. But there isn't a Fenton stamp on the bottom. And it's Easter time. I'm going to start at $20. 
it's Easter time. So who doesn't need a, a, a little basket for their Easter stuff? There we go. I mean, honestly, you can set this out at any time of year because it's it's a, just a little basket and we can put baskets out at any time. But you can put greenery in it. Um, you could put a little battery operated candle, candle in it as well. I'm just, I'm not a fancy smancy glass girl. So I, it's not something that I'm drawn to, but when I can find it and it's something that I, um, that I can afford to purchase to, for resale, then it's hard to not buy a piece of yeah. cranberry opalescent because it is really, really beautiful. And Fenton really did a good job. I'm just not a, I'm not a fancy glass girl. It doesn't have any chips or cracks and it stands. I'll be right and, back. Uh, okay. I about picked it up from the handle. I'm not going to do that. Seven and a half inches tall. Oh, she, your mama had one where the handle is connected to the basket is a stamp by the artist. Each artist has a different stamp. And if you Google Fenton Marks, you can see who made it. That's a wonderful thing to know, Lynn. So here is the, it's like a, I guess it looks like, well, this is my analogy. It looks like, you know, when you make peanut butter cookies and you press it down with your fork. That's what that looks like to me. So it's got like three little lines there. I am fancy when I put out my coochie board. That's right, Poppy. It's a fancy coochie board time. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty. I mean, you could put your alabaster eggs, put a little Easter grass in here or some shredded paper in your alabaster eggs. I think it would be really cute. I've got a battery operated. It's not going to, because it's so little. But you could put a little battery operated candle in there and make it flicker. Oh, yeah. Too, so, all right. We're going to go ahead and start counting it down. Zona is in at 22. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one bit. And hi, Helen. We also have the handle has these little like scoring marks too on it. It's a very, very pretty zone. I see you're just in case of 29 and there is the bid in. All right, Zona, your mama's Fenton basket is coming to you for $22. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I got my one kid we had to pick up for an eye appointment. The other kid saying her stomach hurts. Oh. Oh. I'm like trying to do that. And then I got like somebody just parked outside my house. Weird. Is it the, is it the, is well, is it the, I said the, is it the FBI? Or the FBI you know, I don't know. It could be. That's just the first thing that popped into my brain. Is it the FBI? <laughs> Damn sure it could be. I don't know. He's just sitting there with the, he was just parked and now he's like out of his car is it the publisher's clearing house did you win i wish He's bringing you a big check <sighs> oh man do i wish okay is, it so big man? is he still alive you know they say that that's a um what is that thing the mandela effect or whatever like that he never said that you were gonna win money and i'm like yes he did i remember my grandma trying to win that when i was a kid and they were like, no, it really didn't happen. He's he's delivering delivering those big checks up in the sky. Yeah. All right. I have this beauty right here. Okay, so here's the thing. This is they probably took this out of a magazine. It's not a painting or anything, because I can kind of see in the back where they have electric taped it on to the frame. Well, maybe they never planned on to ever taking it down. Well, so if you don't want the George Washington photo, it's all about the frame. Okay, yeah. so this is like real wood. It does have some pieces like missing, but that's like my whole vibe. Oh, I love the gold. I like George Washington in it. So I know I like it too. It all it all like made sense to me. But anyways, I'm gonna start this at least for the frame. Just know that it'd be for the frame, and you guys can add it whatever you want. It's gonna start at eighteen dollars. It does have the glass in there. Some people nice. don't want the glass because they don't want it shipped. You let me know if you want the glass. Yeah. But, um, well, I mean, if you, you do a 4th of July, a patriotic 4th of July display, I mean, this would be really, really good. I think if you yep. just as is, I love it. I saw it and said, <gasps> it'll be in an upcoming shop with me video. 
it is, I'm measuring the back. It's 14, like on the outside. And then, so this will give you a good indication of shipping by 12. Now on the inside of the oval, it's like say nine and a quarter by seven and a half. But I absolutely love it. I it's do too. Gorgeous. Look at the, the I love frames. Honestly, Me you too. could just take everything out, take the glass out, take the print out and just hang it on the wall and hang some kind of like, I think will be cute, like a taxidermy head. Or something, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you could do that. Or you can you can have a frame, right? And then you have like a tiny wooden shelf. And then you can put like a little critter on the yeah. shelf or something like that. I have mermaids. and I have mermaids in my bathroom. Imagine that. Mermaid bathroom. I have a frame and I just have the mermaids inside the frame. So I, frames are great. They yes. are really Okay, so nobody did this. Frame. So we will move on. Okay. But if you're watching this later on. You know, and you're interested in that frame, all you got to do is send Alex an email. And yep, there's her email right there. And she will talk to you about that. Okay. My next item is going to be choice. And I'm starting them at $16 choice. And why I didn't type this in already, I don't know. But I've got a couple of glass flower frogs. And I've got this beautiful, this is a smaller black. Uh, flower frog glass black flower frog it is all black glass and there isn't any damage to this at all sometimes um oh never mind because i feel a little boober on it <laughs> yeah right there actually you know what i mean an old one. One. it is like very like it's not rough at all so i don't know if that was like it when it came out of the mold but it's not rough at all so the first choice is the black and again Flower frogs are great. You can use them for to hold your flowers. You can use them for a lot of different I things. I would put my marbles in there. Yes, you would. But I like them all in a bowl. I have a bowl full of different <laughs> colors. So we got the black one is the first choice. I see you, Liz, at 17. Next on stage, amber. <laughs> so this is a an amber color. And I don't see the amber ones very often. I did buy one once before. And I had someone uh, message me. I had um, um, Nicky Moss messaged me and bought the amber one that I had. But this is, I found another one. And this one, hang on, before I say, no, this one is <laughs> That good. happens to me all the time. All the time. No. And sometimes it's so obvious, like a completely snapped off neck or like a missing limb. Like, yeah. how do you miss that? But oh, yeah, all the time. All the time. Um. <laughs> Quail, a lot of people will use them um, for, like, I have a bunch, and I might bring them soon. Let me know if you're interested, too. I have just so many vintage fountain pens, old fountain pens. So sometimes people have a pen collection, and they'll use them. Honestly, they're actually great to use for flowers. You flowers, can yeah, they actually the really do work. Of a, a vessel, a flower pot, or even um a vase or even something that isn't spo even supposed to have flowers in it and you put it to the bottom and it you put your stems in there and it makes them you know stand just right um this one has a someone has put a westmoreland uh label on it i don't know that it's westmoreland so but i just left it on unless, there i don't know about the amber but unless it went to like a bigger piece I don't know. Well, I bought you from know. you, you um, from your vamp sale, you had a black. Um, That's what I, I mean. But I had the, I had the big, the big black flower. The big all. one that goes in there. So That's what like, I'm saying. Like, maybe. Yeah. So, but you know, you have a whole like bowl. Um, I have a, vi a clear Viking glass bowl that I just have a bunch of flower frogs in. Um, they're just really, really nice. I just, I just like them. You, they're, you, you can use them for their, what they're used, made to be used for, or you can just sit them around and they're decorative as well. All right, Roxanne, I see your bid at 23. I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. Here we go. Oh, that's a good idea too, Angela. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Hi, Kim. 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bit in. Hi, Bob. 
my Bob. Oh, you know what? I was, Kim, I was telling Michael for the event thing. I'm like, we need to watch Star Wars because we'll be in Ohio on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. All right. Liz is in at 27 and there is the bid. And thank you so much, Karen. So Sherry and Ramola, I see your bids after the bid end. So Liz at 27, would you like Amber or would you like the black one? Ooh, that's hard. I know. Does that well, Amber glow at all? You could take them both if you wanted to, but she wants them both. All right, Liz, they're both oh. coming to you. They look really good together, too. So those are both coming to you, Liz. Thank you so very much. Oh, sorry. I was just <laughs> reading. Like, I was asking Bianca what kind of stomach pain she's having. Oh, is it like girl pains? You think maybe? Ooh, no, that was that was last week. That was right alongside me. Mm -hmm. um, but she started like working out again, so I didn't know if it was like muscle, like her, or you know. Oh, I hate that. She's like, but sometimes she gets um like real bad heartburn and stuff. So it couldn't be any of those. How things. old is Bianca now? Bian Bianca will actually be eighteen next year. You know who we should have uh, to be talking? <laughs> Bianca and Jaden. That way we could be we could be related. Oh. <laughs> she the last does time. She, oh my gosh. Aaron, does she like? She, well, she, she likes left. gaming. Jaden likes she, gaming. She, she Jaden likes anime. Likes to think that she likes gaming, <laughs> but she doesn't do it. She doesn't right. actually do it. But hey, um, okay. Could be. We need to get them together. Sorry, Aaron. Okay, <laughs> we have to pay He's it a down. He's good boy, right? Aaron. He's very, very sweet. He, <laughs> and he loves cats. She does, too. <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, yeah. The Susan, other, Susan's about Aaron's to die. other bracelet. Huh? Susan's about to die that you have a daughter that old, Alex. Oh, Who? Susan I thought says, you you thought I was in my late twenties. Oh, bless your heart. I'll be forty this year. <laughs> but thank you. No, she. So she'll be um, seventeen in December, right? So technically, next year she'll be eighteen. Jaden's only and Gabriel. So Gabriel not, will be fourteen this year. Oh, that so. that I have a harder time with that than I do with Bianca being older. Because Bianca's always been mature, you know, for her age. Yeah. And Gabriel's just a little I know. I know. But now, yesterday, he got to go to uh, a field trip to go over to the high school. And I thought for sure if he saw Bianca that he'd be like, oh, my God. But he didn't. He was, like, hugging her in the hallway. And he was like, yeah, that's my sister. I thought for yeah. sure they would just be like how they are here. But no. Yeah. Thank goodness. Um, so sweet. Okay. So – that's that's what you hear outside was those guys parked in the middle of my street they're mowing of course um but since aaron's other bracelet only did the 26 dollars, i could do this as a flat price um, okay because only one of a dollar that's why i say that so okay. i could do this at a flat so no offers just a flat you just have to get you have to get the number first okay see so um okay so it's gonna be 26 dollars for this one it's a, the pattern's a little different. It's a little art deco-y. So it has the same idea. It has the little made with love tab on the back. Okay. So um, $26 and it's number seven. So $26 is, can, is number seven. The first person that gets number oh, seven. Suzanne. Oh, Suzanne. Thank you. So this guess what, Suzanne? Great. Suzanne, you're actually a giveaway winner. Oh, yay! So, yes, let me show you what you have won. So you're a secret giveaway winner. So in buying Aaron's bracelet, that kind of worked out too. Because I tried to like close my eyes and like, or not look and like pick one. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, good. His bracelet. Because the giveaway is, for this one, is actually one of my handmade little things. Oh, that's so, so great. I mean, I made the little package topper and then on the inside you get an altered a couple of altered cards 
And I actually signed it. We made it in 2022, August 11th, Aww. 2022. So that is your giveaway for buying Aaron's bracelet. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Congratulations, yeah. Suzanne. That that is really really pretty. That is really really awesome. His his pieces are fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. All right, now it's time for me to sell my favorite thing in the sale today. Ooh. I love this so much. It's so good. Look at this bunny. It is cute, and it has the original tag on it still. It's so cute. So we've got purple satin ears. We've got, it's got everything wow. that I like on a, on a bunny. We've got red eyes, googly eyes. And then we've got a pink nose and his little mouth. He has his original purple satin bow and he is a my toy. It's a my toy plush pals custom made for tots and teens. It is a good one. It, it, this is a good one. I'm going to start him at $20. He doesn't have any funkiness. Now, I will say he's probably just a little yellowed from age. But you know that happens to us all. We all get a little yellow in our age. Um, this is made in the USA. My toy company. Um, all new celluloid fiber used for stuffing. It tells you your you've got your care instructions on here as well. But we don't have like... He doesn't smell like smoke. He doesn't smell musty. He's just really a really, really good, good bunny. Very, very clean, complete, no damage to him at all. Very hard to find these that aren't like tattered and torn. It doesn't look like a child has really played with it at all. Um, I mean, you know me, I love my tattered. I'm actually thinking I'm going to fill my cabinet here with bears because I have to so many of them at my house, it's getting a little out of control, but it's so, so cute. I love, 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 love. Alex, do you ever sell any of the same as the giveaway? Your car, are you, Pamela or Purdy, are you talking about her cards or the jewelry? So I love him. Susan, he's, you're in at $20. He's just so cute. Wouldn't he be cute in like a vintage Easter basket popping up with your Easter grass and stuff? I think that would be great. All right, I am going to start counting. Oh, wait, before I do. Uh, oh, I got to use. muted because of the lovely lawnmower. I was oh. going to say, like, for example, if Mark was making you an Easter basket, that would be the perfect bunny to yeah, add in there. Lord. It sure you. would. I'm going to go mute again because I'm sure that's loud for everybody. He's about 18 inches tall. Look, Karen Dondaldine girl, I'm using my, my tape measure that you sent me. About 18 inches tall. Excellent condition. All right, let's start counting them down. Susan is in at 20. Now, at this point, Susan is the only one that can use it just in case because she's the only one that has a bid in. So I'm just kind of explaining that just for future reference. But let's count it down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, bid, end. He's so great, Susan. He'll just, he'll make you so happy. You could just give him a little hug. I have, I have stuffed animals on my bed still. I love them. All right, Susan, he is coming to you for $20. Thank you so very much. You're going to love him. You're going to love him. So this hasn't happened before because yeah. I've, I've only tried your technique a few times. So what do you do when the number of that you randomly chose was an item that already didn't sell. You just assign it. A, you just pick another. Give it a different number. Okay. I was going to say, just, does nobody get it then? Okay. Let me oh, erase I just, the number. And we can, at the end, if you want, we could do a recap, Alex, if you want to. I don't always do a recap. I'll leave it up yeah, to you. Yeah, I don't you. always do one either. Okay. I'm going to just try and like go up and down and like stop and pick. Yeah, that's number. what I do. I'm just like. Um, okay. I was going to say, did I not sell? Cause I have a couple of things that didn't sell, but this I still haven't shown yet. So that works out. Yeah. Okay. My next item is another piece. That's very much me. I mean, 
It's not very misty. I tried, I tried, but this it's is not gorgeous. everybody likes the stuff that I like. Very few. But your people what? that come to you that shop with you like no. your stuff, just like you tell me. Not necessarily. Sometimes people just want to come and have a good time. So, okay, oh, I have this, this carved me. wooden. Oh my gosh, you're annoying me, lawnmower it, it person. Isn't, it isn't loud to us. No, it's so no. loud to me. And Aaron even closed the window for me. And it's still no, so loud. No, it's not. It's not loud. Okay, so this is a littler shelf. So, like, here's the deer. Oh, Very cute. I love it. Like, it sits yeah, on there. I like that, Alex. I like the bird. Or I have a couple little clocks, you know. You put them. But anyways, it's a, it's a smaller one. See my hand? And this okay. is exactly what you could use a frame and put this inside the frame. Right. I did test it. That frame is a little small, but you could use a bigger frame and it would fit right in there. So this is going to start at $16. Great. I'm price. glad you guys can't hear it because that's obnoxious. No, we can't hear it. We got I, like four of them going out there. You barely hear it, but it's not annoying at all. So this isn't marked. It does have like old, like you can see old nails in the back. Lynn, that's a great idea. You put your bluebird of happiness is on there. Oh yeah, you could. Look, it's got lovebirds. See the little heart in the middle? Oh, I see all your bids coming in, right? Uh, Sandy and Susan and Lynn, but LaDonna has the bid, highest bid right now at 25. Yeah, this is one like another one of my, I like everything. I can't, I can't pick one. This you know, like, I think I would be great, though, too, as a wedding gift, too, because it's like love. Because it looks like a it heart is. in the middle, and they're, yes. like, touching beaks. So it's like lovebirds with the Ooh, heart. LaDonna's power bid, LaDonna. Now, this is Victorian. Do you think it's Victorian era, you think, Alex? It looks, yeah, it looks it to me. It's not like, you know, Grandpa's workshop in 1984. Yeah. It looks older. All right, so 20, oh, I 19, love it. See, I like that. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, Ooh, 11, stormy. 10, 9, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, she sold five, it. She sold 4, it. 3, 2, 1, and Cheryl, so, she sold the squirrel. Cheryl's oh, like, I did. All right. Oh. Okay. So, oh goodness. So it would just be a regular forty-six, right? Because yep. it's it's just $1 automatically $1. higher. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much, Stormy. You get this for forty-six, and thank you everybody for for liking it and wanting to yeah, see. You got to be good. confident in you, girl. You, I told her, I said, Alex, you have such a good eye for things. I'm okay on my channel. No, but, but I was coming matter. to, Listen. but you have people that just love you for your kitschy no. quirkiness. You, you guys in the chat, tell me if I'm wrong. Like you come to Misty because you know she's got the kitsch, the quirky, the weird, the this, the that. No. I'm more weird like on a spooky Halloween level. No. Like I'll give you up. the... We just the like doll heads. Words. We have to. I like doll heads. I like spooky. We just. It's just a good. I'm a good. I'm a good time. You are I'm a good time, girl. You I'm are a good time. In my good timeness ability, I can have fun <laughs> with a paper bag. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so it isn't. I don't. Yeah. See, it is a very good. I'm. I'm. I'm a. I'm a social person. So oh, I you think are, that, for sure. that it, it is. Everyone has their own aesthetic and you have a really good aesthetic. So um it isn't just me. Yeah, see? You oh, have amazing you things. See? And she's she runs a good business. She gets thank her things guys. out to you. She so yeah, for a good time. You can oh. call me for a good time. Yeah, it's just fun. Yeah, see, I agree, Karen. And oops, I am the same way. My house has Victorian mid-century cupy yeah it's a, an, an eclectic mix um i just don't personally like like glass doesn't do it for me i mean it just doesn't i will sell it if i can but it, yeah like you not, don't you know yeah it's just I, not I, no but i'm that's just not what what 
what a but like like makes you happy like sh that's what i meant about doing the second channel for house on noble because i felt like that's where i shine i don't i don't always want to like talk and tell you guys how i can make a dollar on everything you know for chapter two i mean i know people like to learn but i really love to talk about the other stuff you know like how yeah. you could rip your 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 tablecloth in half and make curtains <laughs> yeah i mean and that's so. what we were talking about doing like you know i have the misty show and alex has house on noble so it's a good thing because i don't want to do all reselling content because it's right. good to have different interests and i i the misty show is just like i open up toys and it's yeah. just I, I don't know it's just a something fun to do that doesn't always have to be every reselling although I do more vlog style videos now and there sometimes isn't any reselling on them. And sometimes it's a dance to try to figure out where I should put things on different channels. Um, like I yeah. struggled with like the Chicago stuff. I was like, but like I was vlogging. So it kind of flowed better, but um, you know, it's, I think it's good to have a variety but and alex can attest to this too and probably a lot of you other people that have youtube channels that's why a lot of content creators will have two channels and it's a hard it's a lot to keep up with but if you yeah. if i posted a stitch fix video on thrifter junker vintage hunter i would get all kinds of hell for it you know so it's that's not what i subscribe to you for right so that's kind of why we why we do what we do it's a lot to keep we, up with yeah. But, you know, it's just that that's kind of why. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's get back to the show at hand. These, I love these. Raise your hand if you like vintage sheets. Vintage cheese? No, no, sheets. Oh, oh my God. I'm here for cheese. That were, what oh. I just said probably could have been heard a couple different ways, but sheet, <laughs> bedding, linen, linens linens that's the better word <laughs> linens okay i got two that are in their original packaging so oh. they are i'm going to start them at 15 dollars choice and um oops okay this is canon oh i like cheese canon. too ronda canon I cheese like likes me i love cheese ronda okay so now the package on this one you can you you can feel the sheet because this like um torn away a little bit now this is a non-iron muslin this is just the flat sheet <laughs> oh i do too poppy <laughs> I, well yeah i like i like it everyone listen i challenge everyone everyone make their own little coochie board this weekend it's the Mar it's march madness I don't care anything about basketball, but <laughs> you can make your own little coochie board and watch the game. Okay. So this is a full flat sheet for 54 by 76 inch mattress, 81 by 104 before <laughs> hemming. Now this is just the flat sheet. So you could use these as you could use it as a tablecloth. You could use it as curtains. People have used them as shower curtains. You know, you put, you have your oh, liner. Yeah. And then this goes over it. So there is a lot that you can do with it, but it is still in its original packaging. And I love that, that the colors on it. So that's choice number one, man, choice number two, you don't know. It was so tempting for me to not keep these because I love vintage pillowcases, but look at these. Oh, oh. man, these are field crest. They are coordinated fashions for bed and bath. Perfection fine combed per kale. I don't even get me started on a per kale sheet. It must be per kale. I, that's what a is crisp. That? It's a cotton per kale. So it's a crisp, like you wash it and you put it on your bed and it's, it's a crisp wow. but yet soft sheet. I will only buy sheets with a cotton per kale. Um, this is a blend of 50-50 cotton and polyester. Non-iron permanent press. So these are pillowcases. And you get two of them. Two pillowcases, 42 by 38. Oh, man. Let me tell you, Marshalls, that's where I get my sheets from. Okay. 
Kate Spade has the best sheets. And again, at Marshall's because they're a lot cheaper than getting them online when they do have them in stock. And a hundred percent cotton per kale is the way to go. I'm just saying that's the way, or unless you're staying at the Kyoto Inn, if you stay at the Kyoto Inn. I don't know what kind of magic uh, Richard uses in his sheets, but he's got magic sheets and Richard irons his sheets. Oh. You stay at the Kyoto Inn, you're going to sleep on ironed sheets. I wonder if they're dried by the sunshine too. I don't know, but they're they're Mine dried by the sunshine. What's that? Is that a song? No, you you don't have to dry your sheets outside on a on a clothesline. Oh, only certain times a year we can. <gasps> but my, Mark has like allergies. Allergy here. <laughs> Mark has allergies too, and sometimes that makes it hard for him. You know, he's like yeah, and we would like oh gosh, we would have to go put our clothes out there on the line, and then like every afternoon about four o'clock it rains, so you have to go out there and hurry up and take all yeah. your stuff down. So, I do yeah. love that smell. That's another good that's smell. Thing. That's we don't do it anymore, but I had to do it as a kid. Yeah, that's another good smell. Well, I don't do it anymore either. But because Mark's like sneezing and all of his allergies. Anyway, all right, Dawn, you are in at 15. I'm gonna start counting them down. This is for choice between the sheets <laughs> and the no, I don't have a Kate Spade blanket. I just love mm. their sheets. I have my blankie, which is my electric blanket, which is on my bed. Year round, I even took it. I take it wherever I go. It sleeps with me in my bed at all times because I freeze at night and I turn it on high. And my electric blanket is only on my half of the bed. I have to fold it in half because Mark can't stand it. All right, let's count it down. 20, <laughs> 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. I'll check it out. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, bid end. I'm very particular about my bedding. I've got my sheets, my blankie, and then I have a down comforter with a duvet over it. But I love that down. I like that crinkle sound that, that it makes. I don't know. Do you still have your, um, I remember back in the day, you had your special pillowcase. It oh, was I like always... I always have weird pillow. It was like pink. It like didn't match nothing or, you know, it was like I got bright. Strawberry like, shortcake. I got yes. like bride. I got cabbage patch. I got pound puppies. Those, those yep. are my pillowcases. All right. So Ron, I see your bid of 16, but Dawn had a just in case of 25. Um, I don't know. Whatever 81 by 104 is, Becca, I don't know what that, that size converts to, but Dawn, you get first pick at, tw at 17. So, Don, do you want the sheets or the pillowcases? And then, Rhonda, you get second pick. So, sheets or pillowcases at 17. Pillowcases go to Don. All right. So, that's yours for 17. Now, um, Rhonda, you at 16, you don't have to take the sheets if you wanted the pillowcases. So, you just let me know. And that, and that is perfectly fine. If you don't want them. And if, and if Rhonda, if you decide that you don't want them, I think that might've been, yeah, that might've been it. Or if Rhonda decides she doesn't want them, Don, if you want them for 16, then you could have them for 16. If you want, you'll take the sheets. Okay. Rhonda, they are coming to you for 16. Thank you so very much. Vintage mod, vintage sheets are so nice. Oh, I agree. They're the best. Mm -hmm. I always, it's always like trying to figure out, like we've gone to the past couple of years, we've gone to like Tennessee and stayed in a cabin. We went yeah. to Georgia and stayed in a cabin. And I'm like, what do you use on your bed? Like, I want my bed to be that fluffy, uh, stay away. Hotel really look? I look at the tags no. and I look at the tags on them. I, like if it's a really good mattress, I'm like, what kind of mattress is this? And we're no, like, I did it. Apart. And I've been, that's my thing is like, you got to be cozy when you're sleeping. You know, you don't get yeah. a lot of comfort in this life. And I'm not going to sleep on a piece of freaking plywood. You know, right. like well, our that's ancestors. What I, that's what I think about linens. Like I I will spend a little bit of money on a good set of sheets. And like for Christmas yeah. presents, give me, good, give me a good pair of sheets. Even if that's all I get. And the pillow. I think you think about your pillow. Ugh. Your pillow I've, is important. Yeah. And you need, to, you need yep. to have a good pillow. And I think they don't last as long as they'd like you to believe, you know, because no. I'm like, I feel like I just bought that, but I already have 
you know, I already have to like squish you up and th they don't last. So I feel like a pillow is like a every couple of months deal. And some people change yeah. their pillows out like every few years. They do, you know, and Susan, oh my gosh, raise your hand. If you have, if you have an addiction to throw blankets and like I love them. for every season, I got a different blanket. Yeah. And, and you got to be cozy. You have to be able to sit on the couch and be like cozy. be cozy with your blanket. Yes. Sorry. You have okay. to be cozy. Here's my next item. <gasps> I have this lot of these little vintage clocks. Now, they probably need batteries. I'm not guaranteeing that if you put a battery in it that it would like wind because you can wind them. It doesn't matter. I don't have, I don't have like batteries. The look. We like them But the they're look. miniature. Okay. So this one is a clock. You open it. It's like a little present. Okay, so the whole oh. lot's going to start at um, $16. You get them all? Three, yes. So I, prob I probably should have done that choice thing that you talk about, but I never do well. So, but this one feel, I think they're all metal. Wow. Like this one with like. Oh my God, I'm working flowers. on an entire shelf of clocks. This is a good start yeah. to your clock collection, guys. And it doesn't I have matter a little clock collection. Work. Love. And yeah, it doesn't matter to me that that mine don't work, but some people might want them to work. But but these these, me. I mean, if you change the battery, maybe, but I can't guarantee because I don't have the batteries. So and then like I said, this one's like a present. And I didn't notice like there's the windy thing on that one. I didn't notice any names or anything. The windy things on oh. Okay, oh my god, so look at this, all our clock people. You all are my people with our clocks. This one is a dollar or a dollar. <laughs> An inch and a half, dollar, not a dollar. It's a dollar inches. <laughs> it's a dollar inches. And then this one is like an inch and a half again. And this one. So if you do like miniatures, this could work. It yeah, could be like a little clock. I wonder if they'd fit in a little printer shelves, maybe. One and a half. Yeah. Oh yeah um again about one and a half so that's about the going size here and this is with the bow one and a half all yeah, right I've, i love clocks i love me them. too they're getting harder to find house on noble you'll be able to see mine yep subscribe to house on noble all right so here we go you get all of them so 20 19 18 17 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. This is probably my favorite one. 10, Boop. 9, Boop. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. And they look really good at Christmas time. I don't know why I relate clocks to Christmas. I don't, it's like we're waiting on Santa and it's, I don't know. Oh. They look Maybe. good in the Christmas display. All right. So we've got two just in cases of 50. But Cheryl oh, popped crap. in a, a bit of oh, 51, 51. But Robin popped in a just oh. in case of 67. So Alex, what's it going to be? Robin Watson for 52. Yes. Oh, my gosh. My hair looks so crazy. No, Thank you, Robin. Thank you, everyone. Yay. Clocks are where it's at. Even if they mm -hmm. don't work. But that's like another thing that like a soothing sound of a ticking clock. But I have clocks in here that have no insides at all and they chime. Well, you know who that is. Yes, I do. What yes, did I, I say? Was, it was 52? 52 to Robin. 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 Okay. Yeah. Got it. Well, thanks, Robin. Thanks, everybody. All right. I'm going to start my next lot at $15. It is for choice. Do you guys want to see my balls? My glass oh. balls? I collect <laughs> these too, but I cannot. I have a lot of clear ones. So this is going to be choice. Alex likes these too. They do. Oh, yes. They do look like gazing balls. Like you can. I was just going to say, I have all these empty pieces that I need those balls for to make crystal balls. Yeah, those those are hard to find too. I know. So that's why they're just sitting back here waiting so for the, balls. 
the first choice is the big, the big one. We've got these. I don't want to say that. I mean, I say that some, they're not really controlled bubbles, but they're supposed to be there. So there's not like a rhyme or reason. Like they're not in a pattern or anything, but they're, they're, they're supposed to be there. They're on purpose. I have, hi, Mindy. I have a ton of these and I have them everywhere. I love them. And if you've got these little discs, you know, you can add them to that. And then oh, yeah. they, you know, they make, it adds a little zhuzh to them a little bit. And then if you've got your natural sunlight, now you have to be careful when you put them in your windowsill. I have mine in my windowsill, but we have a covered, uh, so they're not like directly getting sunlight because you don't want to burn your house down, you know, because no, they, yeah. they do, you know, they can be like a prism. So the natural sunlight, they look really, really nice. Um, so first choice is the big one. The second choice is the little one. And again, we've got five controlled bubbles in there. Neither one of them have any markings on them, but um, there is some surface wear on both of them. I mean, they're not free of surface wear. There is a little bit of surface wear on them. So I absolutely love them. I have them of all, in all colors. I'm working on like, I want to do like a rainbow um, with my, I'm, I'm trying to do a display at my house with my Lucite candles, swung vases and my balls for the month of June for pride. So I want to do like a rainbow display. So these are, these are great. They're very versatile. And I, and these are getting harder to find too, because a lot of people are collecting them now. Okay. Oh yeah. Clackers that sound. Remember those balls that you clack together? Anyway. All right. Yes, Susan, is in. <laughs> Susan is in at 15. So let's go ahead and count them down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid in. Thank you, Kim. Yep. June 29th. I was supposed to go to Boston with Mark at the beginning of June. And I'm like, no, I can't because I'll be busy getting things ready for the pop up. All right. Rhonda has a had a bit of 16, but Susan had that just in case of 23. So, Susan, you will get a uh, first pick at 17. So, Susan, do you want the big ball or the little ball? Both. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, Aww. Susan. That's really, really oh sweet. I will do goodness. that. And I, I will do that. I actually have a couple things that I'm going to send to her. So Thanks. I will send them to her and I'm not going to charge you shipping because I already got some things I'm going to send to her anyway. But yes, I will do that. That is so sweet, oh, Susan. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Here's my next little lot. I Oh, good. It cleared. Okay. So it's like a children's little... Um, punch set. But the cool thing is they glow. So these two are different. These back here, I'm just throwing them in there. It's like a, um, not a mug, like a stein. Yeah. So this whole set will start it at 16, just like the clocks. Wow. The whole, you, Ooh, that's really cool. So, and then let me just, so, so I can show you this. The bowls have a glow to them. So they're like a little kid's, you know, punch set. And then here's the like little Stein mug thing. That's a swirly one. And then Always this one's like clear glass guys. Cause clear glass yep. can glow. Here's your, here's the pokey one. Kind of like a Fenton hobnail type thing. That's a good idea, Kim. Those will be whole great for Easter eggs to hold Easter eggs. Oh, awesome. that would be a good display. Oh, I wish I had an egg. I would do it for you. Like, so you can have your little egg up there. Yeah. That's really cute. I have like the big, like adult that's, version of that's this. Like a hob, but is that a Hobstar design in there? It looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Those are really pretty. So it's just a little children's one. Um, it looks like we have Bonnie for mm -hmm. $20 right now. You get all of them. Right? Yes. Yeah, so you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Right? Eight? I didn't have another bowl. I think just eight. Okay. All right. So 20, 19, 18, 
17, 16, 15, 14, 13, oops, focus, 12, 11, 10, 9, Those are 8, really 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Bonnie's in at 25. These are pretty. That's a good idea with the eggs. See, that's the it kind is. of stuff I like to do on the other channel. Yeah. It's home decor, like DIY, stuff like that. Okay. Oh, Bonnie, Aranda was trying to put it just in case in, but it didn't, it didn't get in there in time, Rhonda. I'm sorry. It's going to go to Bonnie for 25. Yes, because her just in case and Bonnie's were the same exact number. So it would go for the first person. Yep. Like, first person. like when we have someone that ended with like two forty fives, it would go yep. for the first person then. Okay. Yep. So thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, everyone. I'll write your name down. All right. Okay. Uh, these, you're going to get all of them. I'm going to start them at $10. I found these and I, I found them at the thrift store and I just was like, somebody put a lot of time and effort into these for them to just be donated. So I rescued them and then I, I'm just going to sell them all together. So what I could see you doing with them is using them. Well, let me just show you one. They're all these quilt pieces that somebody has made. Like this one says Playmates uh -huh. with this little dog. So you could use them as like a trivet. Some of them are different sizes. Or you could hang them on your wall if you had those wooden hangers, like a pant hanger, and you hung them on your wall like with a vintage hanger. That would be cute as well. So I'm going to show yeah. all of them to you. and You're going to get all of them. So we've got the little dog with, I guess that's a butterfly, not a bird, two butterflies. And then there's the back. The back of it says pencils. It's like school supply type stuff. So you'll get this one. Oh, Bonnie, you will need to send your, um, your email, your information, your full name and shipping address to Alex. Um, could someone put Alex's email in for, for Bonnie? Um, and yeah, then, I need your, your real name, your yeah. shipping information, um, your YouTube name, if it's different than your real name, and then an email that I can use with PayPal to get you your, um, to get you your invoice. So you could pay it that way. Yeah. Um, and thank you for, for inquiring about yeah. that. I, I think that these are machine stitched Rhonda. So here we've got happy birthday. So this one will be cute to hang up on the wall for someone's birthday, oh. you know, with the hanger. And this one just has a pink back. But you can see, I'm pretty sure that those are, that is a machine stitch. Especially like right there that looks like where they kind of clipped it. Kind of, that, that's so cute. That reminds me of, say, like preschool teacher. She would like hang up the letters or the, you know, a happy yeah. birthday thing or animals or something. That's what that reminds me of. So you'll get that one as well. I love this one. This one's a nice, this one's the biggest one with a little Scotty dog on there. Aww. All the quilt. I just, it's just such a happy tappy. I think I just love it. And this one just has a plain, like hot pink, but I love, I just love the collar. So there's that one. And then you'll get this one. Now this one has like a little, this is an Easter one, but the, this one has a, I don't know if it's just the fabric but it's a little hard right there, but this is a little, he's just being born. That little chick is, and there's the back of that one. Yeah, that's a Scotty on there, Zona. And then these, these last two are my favorite. There's this one with this little girl. Look, she's got her little basket and her, the butterflies and stuff and that nice purple contrast. And then it has the pink on the back. I think these would be cute, like in a playroom or I don't know. I just, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like they needed to be saved. You know, they didn't need to be in the thrift store. And then this one's my favorite one. Amy, you'll like this one if you're still here because it's the colors and the subject matter. But look, it's a little, it's a little pixie Aww. on a mushroom. And the mushroom has a face. Yeah, it's so cute. Look at it. The mushroom has a face and there's a little ladybug down there. And that one reminds oh, me of that Pioneer. Guy. That's like Pioneer Woman look right I there. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't these really cute? I think that they're great. And the only one that has like a, a hard spot on it is that Easter one. But I just think that they're adorable. And somebody really did a good job. And I thought that they, somebody could appreciate them again and do something fun with them. So we're going to put these all together. Happy birthday. 
and then a little dog. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them and you'll get them all. All right, Rhonda is in at 14. Let's count them down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. They're just happy and colorful and a lot of fun. And whoever made them did a good job. They should be proud of themselves. And I can't believe that someone donated them. Really, really I cute. know. I know. I see pictures of people's kids and grandparents. I'm just like. I know. It's just. It's the so whole oh, baby books are at the thrift store. That would be a good idea for a little burp cloth. I didn't think about that. All right. So Rhonda had a just in case of 22. Zona had a just in case of 30. So Zona, they are coming to you for $23. Thank you so very much. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll do this. Oops. I guess I need to put this back where it was supposed to go. Yay. I'm fired. Okay. I found this vintage purse at the store and you know those sneaky little sneak sneakersons that put the um price tags on stuff to cover like a little flaw or something like that yes. well that's what they did with me so um i will price this accordingly so i'll start this bag at like 12 bucks but it's so cute it's see right here they had their tag taped and um it looks like i can see you probably can't see it there's like an oval line it looks like a little emblem came off. So, but the back is just fine. I love the top, how the top is on there. Mm -hmm. And then you open it by just kind of push that. And then it has like a pocket in the center, a little area over here. It looks like the emblem was taken off of there, a pocket over there. But it's so cute if you do like, that's very like mid-century to me if you kind of like that style. And um, I have a purse wall myself, and I put up purses that um, are like, oh, what, forget the word, um, like a tapestry looking bag. Uh -huh. So, but I just love this. And I never, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I never really find vintage purses at the thrift stores anymore. Not like, you know, fringy 1985 you know country cowgirl let's go on a harley type purse i see those all the time but like a classy little 1950s 1960s bag, a black bag. yeah kim yeah. had a good idea you could put a brooch over that you certainly could and i i was i was so annoyed because it was like they had like tape over it with a price tag so i was like are you kidding so that's probably where the adhesive or something was on there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to count. Oh, hi, Sandy. I'm going to count backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17. You'll love this little design. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, cell phone. 10. Uh-huh. Here, I'll do I'll mine. It. 9, 8, Seven, here's my phone, six, yep. five, four, me and squeakers, three, Aww. two, one, and sold. Now this, I didn't think it was a reproduction for one, just how it's made. And two, the brass has like the nice tarnished look to it. It's not really shiny like this kind of piece up here. So it's okay. not, I, I like it. I bought a purse yesterday that I'm keeping. It is a wicker granny purse, but I'm going to use it. I loved it. Oh, good. They're mm -hmm. all doing good, Pamela. Thank you. Let's see. I see the bid end and it looks like Miss Heidi mm -hmm. got it for $16. Thank you, Heidi. Thank yep. you, everybody. All right. My next item is, oh, I love it so much. I did stick some flowers in here. Now it is a reproduction of a really high end Hoffman. Um, they did, um, Hoffman did these um, in this clear glass, but they also did a lot of Malachi. But this one, I, I, 
I think it's from the 80s. I did stick some flowers in there, but the flowers don't come with it. But we got naked ladies on it. So, but I just wanted to show you that you could, you could pop some little flowers in there and make it a sweet little vase. But you take the flowers out. Look at these ladies on here. Okay, there's, hide your eyes if you don't want to see boobaloo Maybe, boobies. Rhonda. There are boobaloo loobies sculpted on this glass. Now, it That's doesn't. Cool. Like, That's my kind of thing. I like that. Yeah, isn't it neat? Mm -hmm. it, and we, it's all figural. You can see their legs and their the female form. Um, and then the, she's got flowers. And there isn't any chips or cracks on it. And this is, it is, well, let's look at it together. Dina, made in Bohemia, Czech Republic. So it is still a high quality um, glass, but it isn't the Hoffman and it doesn't glow. Some of them do glow and this one does not glow. I am going to start it at $20. It is still a high end piece of glass. I love that the bottom is et well, it's not etched, but it's like it has a lot of different sides. I don't know what the technical term for that, but it also is signed right there. The signing is acid etched on the glass. But it's That's really, cool. really nice. And it stands five inches tall. But it's all the female form. Then it goes all the way around. I just thought it was really, really pretty. It's just a very like interesting that. piece. Rhonda, I see you're in it at kind 20. Of looks, it looks small. Like it's kind of like a nugget. Like a little. How yeah, big is it, it compared to your hand? Wow, I like that. Usually they're, you know, they're yeah. like vases are usually really big. So it's like little bud vase. It could be on a bathroom counter. It could be, you know, just like little places. Yeah, you could. And you don't have to put anything in it. I mean, it, it no. kind of, it's kind of good on its own. Mm -hmm. But my Walmart 99 cent flowers, I thought just kind of looked really kind of. You can cute. have like a, like a green, you know, the ferns that kind of come out and just drape and run down yeah. the side. Yeah. That would be down. Mm -hmm. yeah, that would be neat too. But there is the top. Oh, wait, is that? No, I was like, is that signed on the top too? I think that's just the way that the. You the, see it, like the, the bubbles through it or something, the pattern. But this is really nice. I don't think that it's crystal, right? But it's frosted. It's a frosted glass. Susan is in at 27. If this was a Hoffman piece, they sell for over $100. They are. It's a very high. And then the Malachite ones are even more than that. Wow. So I, I'm assuming that this is probably from the 1980s. That just to me looks like. The that sticker, that Dina sticker. Oh, yes. Yeah. It looks like, you know, that's like the um, deco revival type. Yeah. Piece back, back then. yeah. Yeah. I think so too. All right. We're going to count it down. Purdy is in at, yes, Hoffman. I think it's H Hoffman or I don't know. It, 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 oh, I don't know. It's just, I just, the research that I did, I kept popping up Hoffman, Hoffman, Hoffman. So, all right. We're, we're going to go ahead and count it down. Purdy is in at 28. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. It was just, it was, it was unusual enough. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just like, you see things and you're like, I like that. Yep, that's my jam all the way. I love stuff like that. I love very like Art Nouveau, Art Deco. Yep. I think I probably like up until about, it stops around 1950. Well, see, that's when like, my know, interest peaks is the 1950s stuff. Right, like, I know a lot of people like like the 70s and that is yeah. not my jam. Yeah. All right, so Rhonda had a just in case of 35. So Rhonda, this is coming to you for 29. Thank you so very much. But then a lot of times I get people be oh. like, go ahead. No, Ron, go ahead, Alex. I got to get it ready. But Rhonda, you run, you won the next giveaway. Let me write your name Ooh. down. Alex, go ahead. And I was, say just, what you were gonna I was just going to say that people um, will, will leave comments, probably younger people, probably people that have like no style at all and be like, your, your stuff is so old lady. That's what they say to me. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. like, you know what? Who cares what they say? They yeah. got bad taste then. 
Like, so, <laughs> I hope you open a flat soda today. Right. There you go. So, Rhonda, <laughs> you're going to get a black light keychain. These are great to keep on your keychain or even in your purse if you're looking for your glowy glass. You're going to get a holographic stay weird sticker they are water resistant they're great for your water bottles as well as a you are silly goose crew Rhonda you are you're gonna get your own set of weird uh Easter cards and you're That's gonna get your own little worry worm your own little worry worm as well so those are all coming to you thank you so much Rhonda I was just typing. I was typing exactly, Susan. She was saying they're going to be old ladies one day too. Yeah. Okay. It happens so, to us all. Oh, luckily, yeah. hopefully, it does happen to us all. We can only hope. Yes, that we if, all grow if you're, up. yeah, if you're lucky. Really? Yeah. Amen to that. So I have this gorgeous frame. This frame looked so good. It takes such good pictures. When I was like taking pictures for the sales and stuff. But it's a ceramic frame. Now, this is just the original print that came in there. But I thought, again, she looks so fabulous with her hat. Mm -hmm. I left her in there. You can pull whatever you want. But it is ceramic, okay, painted. Um, it is a reproduction of old stuff. So I, you could just tell by the way it looks. It's got the velvet. It's not wood with little nails, pin nails yeah. or anything. So this will start at $10. I oh. thought it was interesting enough. I love the the painting and the, I don't know. I just love it all. Pamela's trying to be good, but you're tempting her. You're a temptress, Alex. <laughs> it's so pretty. And like I said, I left this in here, but you, know, you can put whatever you want to. But it's just so, oh, it's, I love it. It'd okay, be pretty with a Let wedding, me... like a vintage wedding picture. Yes. That would be pretty too. Or if you Whoa. did, gosh, can you imagine if you found a bunch? Oh, I guess, I don't know, depending on how big your wedding is. But say you had five, ten tables, and then this was like your place card, like the so-and-so family. And yeah. that was like their table marker. How adorable. That would be pretty. Okay. Or you so can, what I, you can even do, too, is print something on your computer, like with your Wi-Fi password, and put it in a guest room. Oh, oh yes. For like the, that, the, like, for hotels and stuff. Yeah. Or um, okay. for your house, I guess, if you had a house guest. I don't really ever have house guests. I mean, yeah. Um, Who had a okay, big bird on their hat and t on TV? A big bird on their hat. I don't know, Susan. I don't know. Hi, Julie. Love the Julie, I'm still animals. working on that logo, Julie. I haven't got it done yet, but I'm going to work on it this afternoon, I promise. The frame is like seven by five, but the inside is like a... A three by four, okay? All right. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, mm -hmm. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, That's 2, pretty. 1, and sold. That is pretty. I love oh, that. Dawn has it just in case of 26, but I don't know if you're going to need it, Dawn. Nope. All right. Let's see. Okay. So Dawn got it for 15. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Hi, Paula. All right. This is Hi. now this, what I'm going to show you next is something that Alex would like. See? Ooh. So, Alex, I was trying to pull things that you like too for your viewers that like to watch your things. So yeah. I got a couple jewelry caskets. Oh. <gasps> Again, my jam. Picture that with the naked lady base. Perfection. I don't see a gold, the gold ones very often. I see the silver ones a lot, but um, I got these at mini measures. I did. I actually have a bigger one that I'm going to be bringing soon. And honestly, when you, when you find them, I, I very seldom find them still with the, um, the fabric on the inside. It even has the cording that's on the inside. Oh, sorry, Pamela. Yeah. Pamela's like, damn it, Misty. <laughs> now this one is silver plate i love the art nouveau look on the top of that now we do have a little bit of tarnishing on the bottom and some of that silver plate is coming off a little bit but it has the pink insert the hinge is still really really good on here so this one is choice number one i am going to start them at uh 15 choice there we go so this is choice number one is the silver 
And then the stem on that is the handle to pull it up. And then the gold one is a, is a, is a plated, it's a plated metal. And then this one has like the little thorn right here. And it also has the original fabric and cording on the inside. Wow. Um, and this one, it looked like it has, and I cannot make that out to save my life, but it looks, there's, let's see. Oh, don't get on my face. See, there's some sort of, oh, no, let's. Oh, it looks like W H manufacturing manufacturing co oh. yeah hi jessica like WH. jessica hi. How, how the boys doing jessica are they doing good okay so jessica i saw you saw sold a, another miss pris jessica sold all her miss pris on vamp but she sold another one wow today. so this is choices between the gold and the silver. The silver one is nice, though, too, because even on the back, let me show you. Actually, they both have. Even on the back, we've got Ugh. this floral motif there on the back as well. Gosh, I, I love that. that. One, That's so great. This one doesn't have any kind of mark. She got one. Somebody go buy Jessica's last piece of Miss Pris on Vamp. She's got one piece left. You never see that stuff out in the no. world. No. No. Okay, so this is choice one. And then the gold one, too, on the back of the gold one, we've got a little a little flower right there on the back, too. So, all right, I'm going to lift them up. They Now, the I will say that the silver plate one, to keep it open like that, it's a little top-heavy because this little part right here makes it a little top-heavy. So the gold one uh, opens up just fine and stays open, but the silver one's a little, a little top-heavy. All right, let's go ahead and count them down. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. I love the design. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Oh, Pamela, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm like that a lot too. That's so why I have to limit the amount of live sales that I go to because I cannot control myself. I last week I picked up so many box, boxes from the post office. Oh, did you? I was like, you got to stop this, Misty, because you're. I'm selling things, but then I'm just spending it on more. I gotta, I gotta rein it in. That's why I stay away a lot of times because it's too tempting for me. Uh -huh. All right, so Jessica had a just in case of twenty eight, but you didn't need it, Jessica. You get first pick at 21. So would you like the silver or the gold? Silver and gold, silver and gold. Um, but if you just pick one, okay, so you want the silver one. That one goes to Jessica at 21. Heidi, are you interested in the gold one at 20? Let me write Jessica's name down. This gold one at 20. Heidi, just let me know. And whoop whoop. Oh, me too, Karen. I <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but I got a wedding to pay for. And I, I we're like canceling. Oh, only if Alex wants it. Were you buying this for yeah. Alex, Heidi? Oh. Is that what you were saying? Oh. Heidi, were you buying this for Alex? Oh, you don't have to do that. That's sweet of you. You don't have to do that. Well, do you? She said, do you want I mean, it, Alex? I mean, it is. For, I would love to have it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to do that. Well, Heidi, you let me know. You let me know. Oh. And I won't charge you shipping either, Heidi, before, because I got a box to send to Alex anyway. So you oh let me know, goodness, Heidi. You guys. And I will send it to her with Susan's goodie. And the stuff that I have set aside to send to her too. Oh, well, so Heidi, you let me know if you want this for 20 and I will get it. Okay. It's for Alex. It's for Alex. <laughs> that was very sweet, Alex or Heidi. <laughs> All right. I got it. I gotcha. Helen's like, just take it, Alex. Take it. <laughs> okay. I, for, I forgot. I saw this you when I was writing down. a lot down. of people that love you, Alex. I know. You guys are so sweet. Um, Dawn, actually, that won the frame. She was the giveaway winner. Remember when I had to switch yes. it? 
because the other item didn't sell. So Dawn, yep. you actually won the second little packet nice. of of my little art. So in class, we like made the package toppers and then we made the cards and then there's like two tags in there that we made ourselves. So thank you so much, Dawn. I just had to say that because well, and I'm gonna, it I'm going to say too, again, if you guys are interested in joining Alex's crafty, cl not clue, crew, head on over to, you probably have, you could just, you have to join. It is a membership, which you do pay for, yeah. but Alex is taking the time out to come and teach the class. So, I mean, she should get paid for it. Yeah, so. it's, um, it's $5.99 for the month. And then every week, um, unless something happens and I have to like reschedule with you guys, um, it yeah. doesn't have to happen too often, but, um, so every Sunday at seven, we will just go live and I'll be live with you guys for like an hour to just make something or answer questions or anything like that. So, yeah. So it's five ninety nine to have a good time with Alex and friends Yeah, <laughs> every I'm week, cheap. right? You do it once I'm a week, cheap. once yes. a week. So that seems like a pretty good yep. deal to me. Bug? All right, so my bug, next they make, item. They make things with faces, bug. Not all the time. Oh well, this hat, this this has faces, but this is Jesus. So I don't know if you're afraid. We Jesus, like Jesus's but... face. Okay, he has a sweet face. So this is the Last Supper photo, right? But it's like this small, skinny little thing that would look great in a gallery wall. Um, I have a lot of little um, bits of iconography that I put up. I love, I have like a little collection of Marys and stuff like that. Cause to me, yeah. she's like the ultimate mother, you know? Yeah. And, um, but anyways, I just loved this little piece. It's going to start at $12. It does have like a little bit of, see like it's little paint is kind of flaking off there. Um, but it's such an, an odd, interesting, like unique size. These are usually gigantic. Um, the frame is 12 by four and three quarters. Yeah, this but is I great. absolutely love it. And then on the back, it has like, oh, you can't really read it anymore, but like where they had it framed. So on these lines, there is some information written in there. Um, but yeah, it's got, I mean, you could paint the frame again if you wanted. I like it I brown. Would, yeah, I wouldn't take it out, uh, like, of the frame. I'd probably just tape it off if you really wanted to tape it. But I love – it's like that frame of Washington. I liked the um, – I like the, the wear. wear to it. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful print. Like, look at my hand. So it's like this small little thing, you know, and it's very interesting to me. Yep. Something to really hang up and make you, you know, think about things before you leave your house every day. You know what I mean? So it's good. I love it. All um, right. It looks like we are at 28. Rooftop devil day. Jesus. Yeah. We helped him name himself that. That was, that was a good time that day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I need this picture. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start to count backwards. We're at $28. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Beth has a just in case of 41. I mean, if Ooh, you're a person of faith and you, if you like, or if you just like iconography, it, this, that's a nice little, little compact print there. All right. Yes. Okay. So Beth for 29. Yep. Yep. Thank you guys. Thank you, Beth. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. All right. I guess I, I should have said if you're a person of the Christian faith, because you know, not everybody. There's a lot of faiths. There is a lot of face. Okay. So again, and I do this a lot with Michael and I have a sale together on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. <laughs> that always happens. I'm like, I got, I got linens with kitty cats on them. So this is, I didn't, I haven't even opened this up all the way. I want to say it's a tea towel, but man, it's like a tablecloth. That is big. That is big, but it only oh, has wow. one little print on it. And I loved it. So let me get this folded up again. 
There isn't any uh, stains or tears or rips on this linen at all. I love the print that's on it. Because look at this, what this little kitty cat's doing. If only, yeah, meow, meow. Well, wait, Susan, just wait to get better because there's two parts to this. You're going to get two things. If only our kitties would do this, and that is sweep up their own hair. Look, that cat's like, I, I, I second that. That, right? should, that should be a thing. My mom's making me clean up my own hair. And, it says, and their sweep. own hair balls. You know, no. like. Mr. Fluffer Pants does hair balls in my dad's bed. Well, he's, wow. he's, I think he's telling your dad who's boss. I don't know. Well, no. <laughs> the reason is because Mr. Fluffer Pants is in dad's bed all day long sleeping. Oh, so okay. Gotcha. It's just like, it's convenient. I'm here anyway. So there's no, a little get down for this one. Right. So yeah, he's a little hoovering, right, Shandra? He's hoovering. But wait, the other part. Oh, clean Elizabeth. Yeah, Clean Elizabeth cleans my, our pet hair. But, you know, sometimes you really got to get... The Roombas do good, but sometimes you just got to get in there with your vacuum cleaner. You know what I mean? It doesn't get everything. But you'll also get in this... No, he's not Quail. He's my cat. Mine. <laughs> You're also going to get this little cloth book. Oh, I love this. But look. Meow, meow. <laughs> meow. I remember those. So it's a little children's cloth book. It is non-toxic, made in. Oh, okay, I'm right. It's not. If you eat it, you're safe. Non-toxic. Right. But I mean, they had to put that stuff on their laundry detergent back then too for the children. <laughs> right, probably. I didn't even put the starting price in. Okay, um, you're gonna get both sets. I'm starting them at ten dollars. So look, now this is a cloth book, and we've got like a little portion that needs sewn back down. It's 1955 as the copyright in here. And it says, kitty, kitty, nice mama, kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Kitty, kitty, big daddy, kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Kitty, kitty, are you hungry? Come and eat. Kitty, kitty, see the ball. Come and play. Story time with Misty. Kitty, kitty, see two kitties, two pretty kitties. Kitty, kitty, see the mouse. Funny, funny mouse. Kitty, kitty, go to sleep. Shh. So you get it all. You get meow, meow, the kitty, kitty book, and the kitty linen. I thought, oh, well, if, you, if you are a quilter, you could probably open that book up and use it to sew quilt patches. That'd be a good idea. Probably. Yeah, that would be cute. And then this, you could cut this out of the linen and frame it and put it in, yeah. you know, like if you've got a um, laundry room, that would be cute. Yeah, and like Enamor Amy, she has like a little house, like little cleaning supply display. So that would be cute with that too. Yeah, that would be cute. But I don't know. I just, I thought that they were cute. I couldn't resist them, especially when I saw meow, meow on there because that's, you know, it's just kind of what we always say. So you've stained concrete for floors, no carpet or rugs. Yeah, I mean, but that's like a, that's an Arizona thing that we don't even like. And like Florida has like tile floor, you know, a yes. lot in the area. And we just have hardwood floor and carpet well we have both we have wood and tile a lot of tile here yeah yeah my mom my mom's my mom lives in florida and she's got tile floor everywhere too but it's if there isn't any floor. interest in this that is fine we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna move it on okay so i have one more set of the little art crafts that i made of these um Ooh, the little altered cards Hey, it just blew away. Oh. Uh, I started the other set at $12. So that's what I'll start these at. So they started off as playing cards for those of you guys that weren't here before. And this oh, is wait, one of the wait things. Wait a second, Alex. I'm sorry. Oh. I, somebody okay, had a ahead. bid. Oh, Zona. Okay, Zona, they're coming to you. I didn't even see your bid, oh, Zona. I, I, I see all the stops. Sorry. Okay. My I got you, Zona. Like they're, around here. they're coming to you so for $10. Like down. All right. Sorry. And you said $12, Alex, starting on your those? Yes. Okay. Now we're ready. So I got you, Zona. Thank you. Yes. You get those for $10, Zona. Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, these cards we made in class. And I don't – I'm so silly. I should have brought one out here. But when I did make these, I showed them, and we had these um, little tiny card holders. 
and you could set them on there and you could set them up and decorate them. Ooh. But I was making them, they were themed. I had like Halloween ones and stuff. So a lot of people were loving those. I didn't realize but, that. So Bug bought some cards for me and she said that's uh -huh. why she bought them because she does these too. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. All right. Well, if we don't have anyone for these, I'll go no, ahead. No, you do. And... We got pretty pansies is in at 12. Oh, we do? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. All right. So I'll count backwards then. So you get these. I'll, I'll, I can try and remember to sign them. Oh, now Susan's in at 14. All right, so um, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Now, Tuesday in my sale, I've just pulled a bunch of small vintage black and white photographs. So if you like to craft Ooh. with those and I there, you'll get like 30, 40 in the lot. So those are going to go. Wow. That's cool. cool. Ooh, pretty, pretty right. one of them. Wow. So she's going to have it for $15. Yep. Pretty pansies. Okay. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Yep. Okay. Susan, you're going to like this book. If your name is Susan, you're going to like this book more. Maybe not. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I couldn't find a copyright date. I'm going to say it was in the 1950s, but look, it's Susie go shopping. We all and like that book, cute, but look in her purse, you can see through her purse. It's got like, uh, no, not so. The stuff she, the shopping, stuff she's Susan. Gonna buy. shopping Susan, but look, Susie go. Oh wait, maybe there is a copyright date. 1954. Oh. So I was right in, in the 50s. So Susie goes shopping with real money. Now, all of the coins on this flap are, look at the little cupid face. The little <laughs> are all punched Thank out. But we, but we got your dollars, the wampum dollars. But how many pennies? But we do have some coins left here in the back. So the dollars are still there, um, but the... The money isn't. And then look, these can all be cut out to tell the story. Apparently, Susan oh, you put, you glue them on the page. Yeah. Yeah. So I, now these are going to be, they're going to start at $15 choice. So I got another book I'm going to show you too. So, um, and then now let's play store. So you tell the story and look, you can stop shop at Sunny's store. I'll be right back. Okay. So none party. of the bills have been cut out, but some of these coin little coin monies have not been um, have not been punched, and it's got the same graphic on the front and the back. So I just think that this is adorable. I could not resist this. So she's got on her shopping list: bread, butter, candy, cookies, ice cream, bubble gum, peanut butter, and cake and pop. That would be on my shopping list too. But this is a uh, low book. All right, so this is choice number one. Susie goes shopping. Choice number two is fairy stories. I love this. Now, they this has a little bit of uh, tearing up here. Well, like where there was a sticker or tape or something at some time. This one is from 1943. I got you, Susan. 1943. It's got the, the same graphic on the front and the back. And then on the inside. Now, this is a Merrill book. And on the inside, we've got Little Red Riding Hood. It's a bunch of different stories. And then we've got Jack and the Beanstalk. And we got Cinderella, Cinderella, la, 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 Cinderella. Okay, I get it. I'm used to having Michael here to do the, the, the things. And then we've got Chicken Little, which was one. Like I say this every time. When I had a preschool, we put on a legit Chicken Little play. And then we've got This is the House that Jack Built. And then we've got the, the Sleeping Beauty. I love that graphic. <laughs> love that. And we've got the little old woman and her pig and the frog prince. So Meryl, 1950, no, 1943, 1943. So choice between Susie Goes Shopping and fairy stories. All right. So let's go ahead and count them down. 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Hi, Tracy. 10. Tracy, go ahead. You, Tracy popped in right during the books. Tracy, yeah. I, Tracy's the book girl. Uh, huh? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Oh, yeah. We put on a legit, uh, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. It was so good. That, and that was back before it was like you could record things easily on your phone and stuff. I wish I had it recorded. All right. So Don had that bit of 20, but Susan came in with a just in case of 45. Let me guess which one you want, Susan. I'm assuming you want Susie go shopping and you'll get it at 21. So are you? Um, just to going just to get a wild guess, Susan. This one at twenty one. Okay, that's what I thought. So that one's coming to you <laughs> for twenty one. And then um, Dawn, Dawn, you can say no if you wanted the Susie go shopping. But are you interested in this one for twenty? Come in. And then if you aren't um, Dawn, then it go it will go. Okay, so Dawn said yes. All right, Dawn, that one's coming to you for 20. Thank you so very much. Awesome. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Are you Kitty. saying hi to everybody? He was meowing. I was trying to get him to come up here, but he's just sitting on the floor staring at me. Which one? All right, man. It's um, Little Kitty, the one that looks like fluffer pants. Oh, yeah. Hi, Kitty. I love my fluffer um, pants. So much this next item i actually got this i thrifted it for me because i got this um doll head that i was gonna put on top and then put the cloche over it but the doll head's too big it's too wide so it like flops around and then my cloche isn't tall enough because it's a giant head for it all so anyways it's a single here i'll show you it holds like a bath and body works size oh, yeah. candle or a, um, it's by a pump, Perry a pumpkin, Barn. A pumpkin blow mold would be. Yeah. So just bucket. imagine the possibilities. It's Pottery Barn and it's, uh, what was this um, called? Um, it just says Ver Vintage Mercury Candle Holder. I thought I saw another name for it somewhere, but um, anyways, I'll start this at $14 if anyone's interested. Ooh, like I said, Pottery I only Barn. have one. That's bougie. Yeah, Pottery Barn does pretty good. I was going to stick it in our eBay store, but I was, like, really struggling finding stuff this week. And I was like, you know what? eBay, live sale. Yeah. We'll just we'll just go with it. So, I mean, gosh, you could put so many things on here. If I had the doll head, I would show you, but I have it. It's inside. But you could just use it like a regular candle holder, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, Sandy's in at 15. Oh, Skull for Halloween. That would be good, too, Kim. Yes. And there are some cloches. Like, I don't know if this will. Let me see if this will work. Because this is pretty wide. I don't know. Oh, it just. I thought maybe this would fit in it, but it just fits over it. But, you know, you could put a little thing on display inside of a cloche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Even like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what else you could put in. And it doesn't have to be creepy or spooky or anything oh. like that. You can put a floral vase or a picture frame of someone or something. But anyways, I was going to use it and then I couldn't. So I'm like, well, I'll just sell mm -hmm. it. So, okay. 20, 19, 18, 17. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, I'll do 7, ones. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so. I'll do them next, Dawn. Yes, I am. I'm selling the planters. My hair's crazy. Sandy, Sandy. Oh, okay. Sandy for 18. Thank you guys so much. I'll write you down, Miss Sandy. Oh, gosh. Here comes the yawning for me. I swear to God. I, I know. Good night's sleep. 
Okay, so I am selling these planters. I nursery planters are sometimes a hard sell. Yes, I personally like, especially springtime, because the pastel colors are so pretty. But I'm telling mm -hmm. you, if you like, if I had this shelf filled with nursery planters, it's a statement. So I've got two of them here that I'm offering today. I think that they're just really, really cute. That you can do oh, a lot I of love them. With them. So the first choice, I believe, is Napco. Oh, I didn't look them up. I I should have, but this is a little blue and pink lamb. I love its little flower petal wheels. It's in excellent condition. We've got the mold mark. Ah, gosh, I should know this, but I don't. I'm going to start them at $16 choice, choice. Um, it is in excellent condition. There's no chips on it. I love the little flower on his little head that mimics the flower that are on the wheels. I think that they are adorable. And again, you can put flowers in them, pins in them, or just put them on a shelf. All right. So Everyday Crafter, I see your bid at 20. So this is the first one. The second one, I love. I love this one too. It's a little donkey cart, but oh, it's that, also- so I love donkeys. In the cute. It's also oh. in that pink and blue. So they're very anthropomorphic. Um, this one also has that mold mark on there. I think they're made by the same people. Maybe Napco, maybe Anarco. I didn't look it up. Probably any one of those people. Lefton did that stinking mark. No. Everyone did it. So Dawn is in at 24. So again, I think that this one, especially if you got little lucite flowers coming out of it, I think that would be cute too. But I love the colors. They're just so sweet. And honestly, if you got someone that is getting ready to have a baby and you're throwing a baby shower, put one in, put one of these as a table um, centerpiece and then they're giveaway, like a prize. Mindy, like I think they were just like, brought to the mom like when she had the baby yeah, and you know course. like instead of having a clear vase they were actually fun and then you could like put it in your baby's room or use it for something yeah. else yeah sometimes people would use them for like you'd put like your baby ointments or q-tips yeah. or whatever in there on your on your um changing table you know, back when you know the kids were able to play with like hammers and stuff like back then you yeah. keep that stuff in the baby's right. room right but I mean, I think as centerpieces and then like, you know, you play games and stuff at baby showers and then they could choose yeah. what, what gift they want, you know, put fresh flowers in, I think, yes. pens for cloth diapers. Yeah, those sorts of things. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and count it down. Don, I see you're in at 24. This is going to be choice. Okay. Thank you. They're not you. Thank you, Janine. I, you know, <laughs> sometimes I have such good intentions to tell you exactly the name of things, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, let's count them down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid in. I'm ashamed to say that I, like when Emma was born, we got, because Emma was born in 1999 and they, they were still doing these and I didn't save any of them. I don't know why, but I, I never got any of them on any of those kind of things. I don't even think I got flowers. I got flowers, so. but mainly with Emma, not necessarily with my first baby. You know, the yeah. second baby, you know, it's just like, eh, whatever. Yeah. All right. So, um, you already the got some crafter, of those flowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I, I, you already had one kid. So, yeah. everybody craft this year just in case of 35, but Dawn had it just in case of 40. So, Dawn at 36, would you like the lamb? Would you like the donkey? You could take them both if you wanted to. No one's going to be mad at you if you do, but, um, you get first pick. And then, um, everyday crafter, you'll get second pick. Don wants them both. Okay, Don, they're both coming to you for $36. Thank you so very much. Okay, on the other spectrum of that, I have some brass deer. Ooh. Okay, so these were, you might recognize these from a live sale. These weren't uh, paid for. So I have the set yeah. and I will start the pair for $14. That's $14. a good deal. $14. So these are the cute ones that um, I think you can do. Uh, what was I going to say? I had like an idea. 
because they were laying down, you could put them like with your nativity or whatever yeah. you want to use them for. Becca. Becca, they're not pigs or witches. Becca, you like <laughs> Stick around at my channel though, and you you'll see some witches. Oh, Becca, love we love our witches, don't we, Becca? So does Alex. Alex loves her witches yes. too. There's nothing like a good witch. I sometimes I love to find the the little kitchen witches. The oh. you know, like the old hag looking. Yes, they're hard to find. Witches. Yeah. Oh, Becca says she gives her mama a deer every year. Oh, does your, that's so sweet. Does your mama give you a pig or a witch every year? Do you trade critters? All right. I'm going to count backwards. 20, okay. 19, And Becca 18, will pay for her order, by 17, the way. <laughs> 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and sold. Oh, she gives yeah, you bunnies every Easter. Mm. Oh my God, I know. Oh, wait, Lynn. That won't you got work. a bit of negative five. It's not going to work, yeah. girl. <laughs> okay, there she is. <laughs> oh, right. oh, she got that quick. All right, Me. so it'll be Lynn <laughs> for 15. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Sorry, Becca. Becca. You know what, Becca? I, I will. We'll keep looking for the deer because you know that we are always looking for the deer, girl. We're always looking for the deer. All right, my next item. How many times do you find Viking thistle? Not very often because it doesn't come up very often. But I got two pieces, so I'm going to start these at choice. They're not swung vases; they're candle holders. But I'm going to start them at um, fifteen dollars choice, so you can. You know, have your choice between one or two. They're exactly the same, but they are the little tulip in the the Viking thistle color, which is like a purplish pink. Now, one of them, and you can see I put a little, I would get a bigger candle than this. This is all I had, a bigger battery operated candle in them. Um, but the, one of them has the the Viking sticker on it still. But this is a beautiful color. I think these are great for spring. Um, you could use them as a candle holder, like I said, but you could also use them as, you know, Q-tips or, you know, whatever else you want to put in them. Or honestly, you just put them in your collection of mid-century glass. These are more modern pieces of Viking. You can tell because of that clear sticker that's in there. But aren't they just precious Where is i need something white to really show you there you go it's a purpley pink color i had the fortune of buying i bought a i bought it actually well they might be tulips but i, I don't know my flowers very well girl what did i say <laughs> Maisies? i think they are maybe tulips but i bought um a i found a swung vase in this thistle collar but it's, oh, that's a little bit of sticker residue, but it's not an easy color to find because um, they didn't, you know. The Viking purple one too. I can't remember the name, but. They tend to like stay stick with like primary colors more than anything else. But I think that this, this is just a great, great piece. So Tracy is in at 15. One of them doesn't have the Viking sticker. One of them does. So that's going to be your, your choice. Let me, let me write that down. Sticker. Because I didn't write that down. Okay, let's count them down. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. I got a, another plushie coming up soon of Bugs Bunny. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Quail, I almost bought a doll yesterday, but it needed, like, I don't know what was wrong. It was, like, all dusty, but it had the night-night eyes. It had the little teeth. I almost bought it, but, man, I was just, like, it, it, I don't know. It had, like, the, the old hair, 
I don't know. Oh, Tracy said she'll take them. Well, Tracy, I like that you are. You are prepared, Tracy. All right, Tracy, they are both coming to you for $15 each. Thank you so very much. Okay, so the little trade that I was using to showcase the items is this gorgeous gold oh, tray that. that has these beautiful birds all over it. And it does say made in Japan. Now the material reminds me of like what they would make like the dolls out of like, I can't think of it and see that's that happened. The same thing happens to yeah. me. Misty. But anyways, this, um, this gorgeous little tray is going to start at $10. If anyone's interested. Yeah. I thought it was pretty too. I actually, oh. this, no, huh. no vintage dish rags today. Oh, I will okay. see if I, I might have some in my box, buttermilk. I will see what I can look for. I got two tubs of linens. What I'll do you do with the vintage dish rags? Just curious. It's oh, um, eight and a half by five and a quarter. Composite. Is that what you were trying to think of? Yes. I think that's what the word I'm thinking of in my head. That but is I think really pretty. Yeah, you could put your little, it actually, like I was saying, this was actually in my kitchen. I had used it for something. You could put your little things on there, you know, put yourself your little clock and have like a little thing on your table or nightstand or whatever. Oh, she uses them. You know what I had seen? I'm going to look oh, and see okay. on my phone still. Go ahead. Carry on. I'm going to look and see if this picture is still on my phone because I did a screenshot. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, I think I have Donna in at 10. Thank you, Donna. So I'm going to count backwards. No, I didn't say uh, that. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Oh, you have these? Cool. Uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and sold. They'd be great to put your perfume bottles and stuff on on your yeah. vanity. Mm-hmm. Um, what I was trying to show you. Oh, Cheryl. Let's okay. See. So, so Cheryl would get it at eleven. Yes. Right. Okay. The Thank only issue is Cheryl. now I will let you guys duke it out, but typically oh, to use it just in case, you have to be putting in oh. a. A bid. You did say that at the beginning. So like Cheryl, you had to have been actively bidding. Yeah. So okay. Cheryl, it so will I'll actually, stick with your rules and it yeah. would be Donna for ten dollars. Yeah. I forgot about that, Miss Cheryl. She did say that at the beginning. And I'll get a so lot of I'll get into a lot of trouble if I don't do that. Trust me, I will get email after oh, email. No, I know. I, I try and stick to my stuff too. Yeah. So if sorry, there's like, uh, if there's something we can't figure out, I'll be like, okay, we're then we're going to do it all over again. Yeah. It's okay, so. Cheryl. It's okay. But yeah, just, no problem. You know, it's new to me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, Donna doesn't like the just in case, but you know what? We had to do something because of the lag. That's why we yeah. did it. Luckily on virtual antique marketplace, there's no lag. There's no um, lag. I only have one thing left. Is that right with you? I have two things left, but you started first. Yeah. Okay. So that's, so that's, right. that's right. Okay. So, oh, I got to switch this. Okay. So I have a Mattel, a vintage Mattel Bugs Bunny. Oh, look at him. I love He's those waving. teeth. <laughs> He's waving hi to you. Unfortunately, well, I mean, you can still pull his little string there, but let's listen. You know, he doesn't say much. Because sometimes if you make them go slow. He used to say, what's that up, sounds Doc? sounds like he sneezed. Yeah, yeah. He used to say, what's up, Doc? What's up, Doc? So uh, I just couldn't resist him. I just really couldn't. So he just made me happy. So he has a rubber face. He does have his Mattel um, side tag there. He doesn't work, but he still look really cute in your displays. He does have his little pom-pom tail. A lot of times these are missing. And this one's still kind of hanging on there just a little bit. He's got a nice pancake butt there going on too. But he does still have a string pull, but he doesn't work. I'm just going to start him at $12 to see if there's any interest in him. Yep, there are. Oh, yeah, guys, we're almost done. So please, when we are done, 
go over to Vamp. And there are a lot of sales going on today. They're having a glass sale, a lot of really high end, really nice glass. So make sure that you go over to Vamp and check out the live sales that are going on over there today. So if there's any interest in bugs, starting him at 12, um, I just loved his sweet little face. And it's he's a bunny. So Easter, you know. And again, if you just have if you just have like a nice little kitsch collection, he can just go in good with your other with your other plushies. But if there isn't any yeah. interest in him, I'm gonna set him aside and we will keep rolling. Now, this is Alex's last item. Alex's last item of the sale it, today. It is my last item. Okay, so I had bought this. It's back a few videos ago for House on Noble. I was actually gonna use this. Um and I ended up doing something else on this little display. So, and a lot of people actually said they liked it in the video. But it's this clear glass. It's a salt jar. So you would Ooh. put like your chunky salt in there, you know, like your Himalayan salt or kosher salt. And you get it and you like put it there. Okay. So this is going to start at $10 if anyone's interested. I like that. Me too. And this didn't, I mean, it would look great. Like say you, it doesn't glow or anything. Say you had jadeite or you have pioneer woman or you have it just kind of goes with like all that stuff farmhouse kind farmhousey of. yeah or if you had ray dunn stuff or yeah you know it can go all kinds of stuff i have both i have like a mix of the three i well actually i had vintage stuff in there too but i have like some pioneer woman a couple of ray dunn things some really vintage stuff, like old school 1940s, like green, like bread box and everything. Mm -hmm. And I have some green scale, a green scale, and I have uranium glass in there. And I have some jadeite glass in there. <laughs> so. And you don't have to use this for salt. You could put your marbles no, in there. I wasn't going to use it for salt either. I was actually going to put it on a different display. And I was going to, I forget what I said I was going to put inside. And then I was going to put something on top. But I didn't. I ended up using something else. I actually, right, I need so. to get me a salt jar like that because I like to use coarse salt when I'm cooking yeah. and it doesn't mm -hmm. come out of your shakers very well. So I need nope. something like that. that just you pour it in there. Just yep. All right. 10 mm -hmm. or no, 20. Usually yeah. I count from 10 on my count. Um, yeah, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, that's a good idea, two, Cindy. one. That's all. So, yes, that's a good idea. Cheryl and then Lynn. J uh, Tracy has a just in case. Look at you, Cheryl. You got your just in case in and you got a bid in. Look at you. <laughs> oops, oops. Oh, geez. There's the bid in. Okay, what we got? Cheryl's it. So, she, it goes to Cheryl for... $19. Yes. I'm getting it. She did getting it. Getting it. Thank you, guys. All right. My last item. Oh, I love this so much. It is the Fire King, the Jadeite Lotus Bowl and plate. Ooh. So you're going to get, obviously, you're going to get them both. It's a beautiful plate for one in this, like a lily pad style. Doesn't glow because Fire King does not glow. And then you get the matching bowl. And I love the texture that's on this bowl. And honestly, when you're looking at it head on, I think that it, it is just so, so cute. Now, I think that this would be good. Now, Kim, are you, if you're still here, butter mints, Kim. We always say like <laughs> pastel butter mints. Yes. Oh, so we love those in here. I am going to start it at $20. Cheese ball and crackers. I like the way that you think, oh. Kim. That would be good. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Coochie board. You could put your your nuts in here. Oh my God. You know, you could do all kinds of things in there. It is really, really pre pretty. There isn't any um, chips, cracks, or flaws. I actually have another one, too, that's a little bit different of a style that I'm going to bring very soon. But it's just a beautiful piece. And when I look at this, I just, my mind automatically just goes to spring. I love that figural floor, uh, form and shape of it with those leaves. It's really, really pretty. Ranch dressing and veggies. You know what's weird about that? Like if I bought carrots and ranch dressing or like vegetable dip, it, I won't eat it. 
But if I go to like Easter or if I go to a party, I'm like, oh, yeah, carrots and, ra- and veggie dip. I don't know why that is. I've, I have it at my house. It doesn't get eaten. But if I go somewhere else, I'm like, yeah, I want that. Ooh, there's oh. um this pickle and ranch dip. I want to say it's called like Taste of the South or something like that, that you can get it at Walmart. I That's love cool. taking that with um like mini cucumbers and I'll just eat it like potato chips. And then I also love to eat bread and butter pickles with those. Yeah, that's good too. That's good too. Um, Kim, can Bob bring some of that salsa on the plane? Would they let you bring salsa on the plane? I don't know if they will. All right, but we're going to go ahead and count it down. Dana is in at 30. Here we go. Uh, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Dana, Dana, yeah, okay. Dana, you, oh, so Paula had a just a bit of 31. Dana, you're still holding it down with your just in case of 38. Ooh, yeah, maybe. Ooh, maybe. We're all about that. We like to eat that kind of stuff. All of us do. All right. So, Dana, you win for $32. You get that set for $32. Thank you so much. Let me write this down. Dana Haynes. All right. Thank you. Oh, it's your first purchase ever? Aww. Well, Dana, this is all you got to do. Send me an email, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your full name and shipping address, and you're good to go. And guess what? You will never have to send it to me again. You just send it to me one time. Unless it's been a while. It's always good to send it. Yeah, or you move or something. Or you move and you will be good to go. Who's here? Oh, Mark is here. Hi. Hello, Mark. So this was a lot of fun. I'm so happy that Alex and I have these sales together. Each one of them. You've been watching for over a year. You just. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. So, I want to show really quick. Um, sure. uh, I think it was Tracy West. She said she was interested. This is the dip I was just talking about. Taste yeah. of the South fried pickle and ranch dip. It's delicious. I find it at like Walmart and stuff, but I guess you could find it all kinds of places. Hmm. You're welcome. I don't know if I'd <laughs> like that though. I mean, I like dill pickle, but I don't know if I want a dip, a dip of it. It's yeah. a, you think it would be more pickly than it is. And but it's, it's just this great combo. Yeah. Now, now, our local little ice cream, you know, ice cream stores will sell food. They've been announcing yeah. that they have uh, dill pickled cheese curds. And I'm like, oh, well, I may have to try I those. those would be good. So, all right. Yeah, we this is a lot of fun. And after we stop going live, we're going to talk and we're going to schedule our next sale. It'll yeah. probably be towards the end of the month because that gives us both time to, you know, gather things for the sale. So probably yeah. towards the end of every month is when we'll be having our next sale. But Alex, let everybody know when your next sale is. Um, like definitely next Thursday at 7 p.m. Sometimes we throw y'all curveballs and we'll like be like, okay, I feel like I want to do a sale today and we'll just do one. Um, but most of the time it is Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. Okay, 7 p.m. Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. And Thursdays at oh, yes, yeah, right after, sale. yeah, right after my sale. It's usually what around four. No, I had to schedule it last time about three. Yeah, because I'm quick. I'm like, yeah. Well, well, with that new way you were doing it with the 15 seconds and stuff, it was a little faster. So in order to schedule my live, I have to create a time slot. But don't really listen to that time slot because I might have to, I might go on because I try and go right when she's done. So y'all can just zoom on over. I'll raid so. her sale. So if you're watching my sale, you don't have, you just sit back and relax and you'll automatically be taken over to Alex's sale. So yeah, I'm on the vamp sales. I'm like, I'm quick, you know, I'm, and it, we, it's just, it works really, really good. So, and I want to say too, go over to virtualantiquemarketplace.com right now. There are sales going on right now. They're having a glass showcase. So go over and and support those sellers. It really means a lot. It means a lot to me just because I'm really wanting them to 
to do well and feel like that is a place where they they can go. We're so proud of the sellers that we have. Kim is just jonesing. We're waiting on the Android <laughs> capabilities. It's it's going to happen soon. Um, the next blitz will be in a couple. We're going to do it the week after Easter, um, just because it's everyone's kind of busy during the Easter holiday. So. Um, and also, if you are interested in becoming a seller on VAMP, all you have to do is go over there and fill out an application. Please let us know what other sites that you're selling on. Send a link and also let us know if you're like, I don't sell anywhere. I, this is something that I'm wanting to try out. So um, I do have plans that I really want to be able to, you know, work with some people that are just wanting to get started. It means a lot to me. Um, and we're so very proud of the platform. So go check it out and support these small businesses. Um, I hope that you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to send us your information. Alex and I both get our stuff out very, very yes. quickly. I'll be doing invoicing tomorrow. Alex, when should they be expecting an invoice? Tomorrow. 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 So you should get an mm -hmm. invoice tomorrow. And if you haven't, well, Quail, you need to send me an email, girl. If you haven't, then um, we, you know, Go ahead and send it now so we can get your information. Um, yeah. And Kim's, yeah, Kim's, you you and I got a date next week, Kim's. Well, you got a date with the viewers because Kim's, Kim's is going to, I'm going to raid her on Tuesday. So I will be having a sale Tuesday at one right here on my YouTube channel with Michael, the Cult of Vintage. And then immediately following that at five, it's a half an hour quick, quickie sale over on vamp so and we have a line of people kim's gonna go right after me a ton of people that are having sales following as well so thank you guys so much for being here with us today we really do appreciate it um make yeah, sure that you're you. subscribed to both of alex's channels and we will see yeah you thank you bye yeah. guys thank you bye. kim thank you kim and thank yes. you karen thank you helpers <laughs> bye guys